hi everyone everyone at at home in the future watching <laughs> hi everyone uh on facebook in the present watching and hi everyone in the room currently hello uh <laughs> welcome we are uh we are the the cast of wild cards from saving throw on Woo! twitch and we are here to do part two of the uh, the Twilight Protocol event series in Deadlands Reloaded, we're doing this in partnership with Pine Box Entertainment. Uh, so big thank you to David Lapp, who is uh, currently over in the doorway right now. Thank you very much, David, for helping us put this together. And thank you to Chupacabracon for having us out. Yay! Woo! Um, so, and then of course, as always, th a big thank you to Pinnacle Entertainment and Shane Hensley for, uh, you know, coming up with Deadlands and <laughs> letting us all play in this uh, really awesome sandbox. So thank you to you guys too. Uh, this is going to be a continuation of what we did at Genghis Khan. Uh, there we were dealing, we were in Denver, so the posse was in Denver dealing with uh, the agency. Now, since we are in the lovely Austin, Texas, or, or just slightly outside of Austin, Texas, but close enough for government work, uh, we are going to be in Austin, but we're not going to start there. And before we get into all of that, let us meet everyone here. So first of all, my name is Jordan Caves Callerman. Hi. Hi. Uh, I am the uh, the marshal of this table, and uh, currently on wild cards on Twitch's on Saving Throws Twitch channel, we're running an ETU campaign. So there, I'm the dean. But first, I was a marshal, and now I am returning to that role. So I'm happy to be here. Let's meet everyone else at the table. So guys, I'd like to know your character, uh, your name, your character's name, and then uh, just give us like a brief little snippet about who your character is, and then we will we'll jump into everything. So who wants to go first? Uh, I'm taking all comers. I'm taking all comers. Uh. Said, oh, I said, oh. You said, oh, that counts as a word. Okay. Hi, my name is Megan Caves, and I am playing uh, Valeria Batten, and she uh, defected from the Fourth Ring Circus. So she's, if you don't know what the Fourth Ring is, they're really good uh, moral group of people. No, um, they're, uh -huh. they're, not, they're not that at all. So they're kind of like more of an evil crowd, but she wasn't too happy with the leaders, uh, some of the things he was doing, so she decided to leave. But she is a huckster. Um, she's all about... Uh, kind of what exploring, discovering mystical research, mystical research type thing, um, and um, she is very well liked by uh, the agency and probably the Texas Rangers. Also not true. Probably <laughs> super. <laughs> Everybody loves her. It's great. Um, no, she is also kind of amoral herself. Just um, maybe not as amoral as the leader of the Fourth Ring. You know, it's it's you not black and white around here. Holly okay. was straight up evil. I mean, Valeria was instrumental in helping uh, the good guys in Gamora defeat the Fourth Ring Circus and drive them out. If you have not played uh, the Doomtown card game or read the amazing lore on the uh, on the Pine Box Entertainment website, you absolutely should because it is great. Uh, it's great fodder for your de your own home Deadlands games as well. There's mm -hmm. a lot of really rich material to mine there, so you can find all of that information there. But that is who Megan will be playing. Who wants to go next? I'll go. All right. Hi, my name's Dom Zook, and I am playing John Aces Radcliffe. You got to put the quotes around it. John Aces, Aces. Aces. <laughs> Radcliffe. Uh, uh, John is a member of the agency. Uh, he was once a vaunted uh, uh, agent. Uh, and uh, accidentally... Uh, Mnemonomized himself. <laughs> Mnemonomized <laughs> himself. So basically wiped his entire memory, and he wandered around the desert, uh, basically becoming somewhat of a, of a gambler and, and drunk, not really knowing how he knew a lot of things, and uh, was recently rediscovered by the agency and re-brought back in, but he's learning kind of afresh what everything uh, is like there, so. He's kind of like Tommy Lee Jones in the venerable sequel to Men in Black. Yeah. Yeah. Men in Black 2, everyone's favorite Men in Black movie. Right. Sure. Moving. <laughs> All right, moving on. I'll go next. All right. Hey everybody, I'm Grav Blay, and I'm playing Hampshanks, everybody's favorite pink nope. ogre. Nope, nope, nope. nope. not playing Hampshanks. Nope. What? Oh. oh. We had a conversation about this. I know, yeah. but I want to play Hampshanks. Okay, uh, I'm playing Sergeant Elijah Clay, who is a tough and no-nonsense Texas Ranger who was shot in the back and came back harrowed, as, uh, you know, some people do in the weird west. Oh, Rob loves being harrowed. Uh, yes. Yeah, I didn't know about this before I got here. Uh, Just like Calvin is harrowed. Oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> Uh, and his uh, supernatural attribute of spirit, so he can at will just become a ghost, essentially. Just make himself incorporeal. And uh, cool. it's a very useful ability to walk through doors and not take any damage except for magical things. Um, he's a Texas Ranger, so uh, people should respect his badge. And if they don't... Not so much in Denver. Oh. I mean, maybe some folks in Denver, since Colorado's still, still claimed by both, by both countries. Okay. We'll see how that plays out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's me. 
Uh, and last time when we did this, we did not have the entire Wildcards group with us, so Sergeant Elijah Clay was played by Eric yes. Reichert, but this time, using the magic of hand-waving, Sergeant <laughs> Elijah Clay is going to be played by Gaurav Gulati. Mm -hmm. Recast. It's going to be a completely seamless transition. We're going to pull yes. a Don Cheadle at the I'm beginning the of Iron Man 2. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, movie maybe. sequel talk here at the beginning. <laughs> and then last but not least... Uh, hi, my name is Jordan Pridgen, and I am playing Padre Ernesto de Diaz. Um, who is a uh, blessed, what is the name of the group I represent? The Order of St. George. Yes, the Order of St. George, right. And so I am a uh, uh, blessed, I'm a, like a, a minor pacifist, and I know a lot about what's been happening with uh, the cackler and stuff like that, and I've come to, what? What? Huh? No, I was just wondering why you were mentioning it. Like, why would you even mention the cat? Like, this is not I that, don't know. Not that, not that momentous <laughs> of a guy to the Deadlands lore. All right. No, I don't know where you stand on these things. Um, yeah, and I'm here joining the group with my, my magical god powers, which, you know... <laughs> magical <laughs> god powers. It's kind of what I did in <laughs> when we did wild cards. Uh, it is. I'm so, also a Although, also, I'm uh, definitely in my comfort zone. <laughs> yep. Why aren't you James Bogue? Huh? Ish. He's always a little James Bond. Yeah. Uh, and then your uh, your collar's a bit yeah. askew. Just, is it? Just, okay. This collar is probably going to yeah. come off a bunch of times. Just Wait, it. it wasn't real. Jordan did not actually. <laughs> Jordan is not actually a priest. So I don't have a are, real uh, clerical collar, but sorry, they I had wrong. these little things you can put on your badges at the con, and I got one that was white and said "Internet Junkie," and I tried to turn it into a clerical collar to mix success. And it will <laughs> probably work. <laughs> All right. So that is everybody that we have here at the table playing. I think it's time that we saddle up. Oh, well, my hat was already on. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, Don't worry, I saddled up I forgot for all of us. There you go. Okay. And let's draw some it. fate chips before we jump in. Oh boy. Yeah. All right, so I don't believe anybody has any edges that affect the number of fate chips nope. that they draw. So we will start uh, with the Padre. Uh, yes. You do? I get one last night, Bad Dreams. Ooh. Oh, no. Bad Dreams. You've seen a lot of stuff, Valeria. I've seen a lot Padre. of stuff. Oh, Go boy. Three fate chips. I'm excited to have fate chips again Man instead of, of just binnies. Mm. I like fate chips. Yeah. Did yeah. you get all three? I, well, Give I got four. You took four, all but white. it doesn't matter because they're all <laughs> white fake chips. I got two white. Colors are a thing now. Two white? Colors. Okay. Yes, two white. So you a have lot of the white ones, ones are taken. Bag? No, I put oh, all white ones in there just to mess chip. with you guys. Ooh, oh yeah. Like that. That. How many legend chips? Oh, come on. No legend chips. In America. Oh, I got two whites and a red. Two whites and a red, okay. It's all up to you, aces. Come on, aces. I'm going to draw blue. All blue, all blue, all blue. Yeah, I feel good about this. You? Yeah. There's one red. And two whites. Uh, okay, wow. Well, Japan. Nobody drew a blue. And as per usual, I get one for each of you. So let me go ahead and draw those out here. Oh, look at that. I got two blues, a <laughs> red, and a white. Wow, there's all the blues. That's cool. I'll just, I'll just put those right out there in front of me the, so we, we can see the those. Short blues. Yeah. And uh, let's talk about a little bit what happened during Act One of the Twilight Protocol event series. So, uh, all of the group met outside of Gamora. It was Sergeant Elijah Clay and an agent by the name of Byron Decker, along with Professor Duncan, who was a, a little bit of a, a strange kook who had uh, been working with the First Peoples of Tombstone. late. They were outside Tombstone. They were outside Tombstone. Oh, yeah, that's right. They were outside Tombstone. Thank you very much. That's why we have David Lapp <laughs> here to keep us straight. Uh, at the Office of Ancestral Affairs. Check us. <laughs> uh, Valeria was there as well, and uh, she brought, she was brought in to reveal the knowledge that she had of where Abram Groth, who was the sheriff of uh, Gamora and helped defeat Ivor Hawley, might have gone. He was tracking down the fourth ring who have a new leader, and he was trying to figure out what their secrets were, what their goal was. And everyone else was assembled to try and follow him, find Abram, find what he knows, and hopefully prevent the fourth ring from joining up with the forces of the Cackler, who again, as we said, just minor inconsequential figure in the Deadlands lore. Uh, or, or maybe not, maybe not, maybe we'll learn more as we go. They went all the way to Denver to try and get in touch with the agency there, and that was Groth's last known location, as far as they were aware. Decker le led them to the agency's headquarters, their secret headquarters underneath the land basin office in Denver. But as they went down there, the whole place seemed uh, abandoned, and it was in some sort of lockdown protocol, and they were trying to figure out where everyone was, what had happened, they were able to somehow work their way through the giant lockdown vault door into the agency's headquarters proper and were met immediately by a gigantic horde of nose ferrets, or Nosferatu to all of you non-Western folk out there. Uh, they were doing their best, they were doing their damnedest. Sergeant Elijah Clay was taking down quite a number of them with his two guns, but all the same, it looked like the group was going to be overwhelmed. When they heard the hydraulic lift, 
become engaged behind them. Whoa! Just, Whoa, just like that. that! Much like that! That was perfect timing! <laughs> Much like that. That's a, that's a distant yes. echo of the hydraulic system <laughs> being activated. <laughs> Which and is probably pretty loud for the Facebook viewers. <laughs> <It was. Yeah. laughs> You're welcome. All their computers exploded. <laughs> and a group of people came down to rescue them. And that group of people was voted on by the Doomtown players at the last event. And I believe what they landed on was the first peoples were the ones who came down to rescue the posse from, uh, from the nose ferrets down there in the agency. And... Professor Duncan is now going to be officially aligned with the First Peoples as well. So that was all uh, in nice. part to the voting of the, cool. uh, the Doomtown players. And there's more of that coming. They're voting on some stuff here today, which we will get to. But we will jump in to the aftermath of that battle. Everyone uh, standing, breathing heavily, bloodied, beaten, but not defeated, down at the entrance to the agency's secret underground headquarters in Denver. Uh, and a secret passageway is opened in the side wall where at first it did not appear that there was one. And that is where uh, a couple of other people join the fight. John Aces Radcliffe, accompanied by Clint Ramsey, late of Gamora as well, came in through a, a secret entrance into the underground agency's headquarters. And uh, it looked like John might have found something in that tunnel, but we'll jump into that now. Everyone. Everyone present, Valeria, Sergeant Elijah Clay, Agent Decker, John Radcliffe, Clint Ramsey, the first people, Professor Duncan, trying to figure out what was going on. And I will be playing, uh, I'll be playing Byron Decker at this point. All right, well clearly uh, that was, clearly, not what we normally have set up down here in the, uh, the agency, would, I, uh, the lockdown protocol was put into effect because it looks like the Nosferatu uh, escaped and managed to turn most of my crew. Looks like you have a problem here at the agency. So it would seem, uh, or what remains of the agency. This passageway that you came in, I, I, I don't believe I know you, by the way, although you're wearing agency colors, are you new? Uh, so, yeah, sort of. Hey, uh... Name's John Radcliffe, you can call me Aces. You're John Radcliffe. You don't have to shake my hand, I guess. No, I will happily shake your John yeah. Radcliffe? Yeah, that's me. I you're mean, a, what? You're a legend. You're part of why I, I wanted to join the agency in the first place. I, oh, uh, well, I mean, whatever I must have done. I, like, I thought I, you were dead. No, not dead. <laughs> Clearly quite alive. This is the John Radcliffe? You know him? No, I mean, no, I'm just as flabbergasted as you, but I mean, people can just say whoever they are, right? Uh, and at which point uh, Clint speaks up, nah, this here's John Radcliffe. Oh, he ain't the John Radcliffe that uh, you folks might think he is. He uh, got a bit scrambled, it seems. Scrambled? Yeah. Yeah, pull, did a real number on himself with one of them uh, agency doodads, uh, one of the bright flash. Oh. Yeah, show him. Make your mind him. turn mush. Show him what I'm, show him. No, don't show him, no, don't show him. Uh, we don't need to, there's no call to bring out a mnemonizer here. But, All right, fine. Uh, so you, you blanked yourself? I guess, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't really remember, you know, much of, much of anything um, uh, about that. But, you know, hey, you, you want to, you know, I don't know, see, have me prove something or whatever, I don't know. No, no, hey, if you say you're John Radcliffe and clearly you knew something about uh, this entryway, which I wasn't even aware existed, so there must be some bitty still knocking around up there in that noggin of yours. What's John Radcliffe like known for, like most known for? Uh, name it. What? John Radcliffe is known for being a, a top agency agent, which means he's not known for much at all that is on official record oh. of the agency working in the shadows and okay. practicing skullduggery as they often do. But uh, his, his name is whispered among the rangers as someone to keep an eye out for Elijah. So you would, you would definitely know him at least by reputation, if not by deed. Well, this is a, a lovely reunion, but we do have a whole facility full of Nosferatu, and we're still standing a bit closer to them than it seems might be safe. Oh, all right. And yeah. he'll, he'll just 
pull out both of his guns. Go, All right, let's go. Whoa, 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 Wait. whoa, hold on. Damn. We managed to get the door shut back down. Everything is uh, is locked down in there, and we got a, we got some families to alert. There were some, <laughs> some folks here that came riding down with the, the first people. Two of them didn't make it, but a couple of them comported themselves as heroes. And to find out which two didn't make it and which two are getting experienced versions of their cards, that is being voted on by the Doomtown players at this very convention. So Ooh. that will be coming along shortly. There will be experienced versions of whoever uh, made a hero's, a hero's entrance down in the bottom of the agency and, uh, and who sadly is no longer with us. So stay tuned for that, you Doomtown players. Uh, yeah, yeah, but if, if there's no agents here, and growth ain't here, then we're without a lead. At that point, Decker notices that you're holding a, a, little, a little scrap of parchment. Wait, what is, uh, what is that? Where'd you find that? Uh, In that tunnel? Yeah. May I? Sure. He takes it from you. It's, as far as you could tell, it was just a bunch of like random gibberish on a piece of paper. Uh, maybe at one point this would have been meaningful to you, Aces, but at this point, Whatever, whatever cipher this is written in, or whatever language this is written in, it eludes you, and uh, Clint sure as hell doesn't know that ain't really his speed. Uh, wait, wait, this is an agency cipher. It is? Hold on, hold on, give me a moment. And he, he says, everyone, clear out, clear out, you, especially you. Just stay where I can see you. Fine. And he heads over to the single desk in the entryway and just pulls out, uh, looks like a little s stub of uh, graphite from one of the drawers and sits down and just starts scribbling on this piece of paper. Uh, I'm just saying maybe I could help you. Are you privy to the agency's uh, secret ciphers and codes? I could be. Well, I think if it's all the same to you, Miss Batten, I'd rather that you remain in the dark on those matters for the time being. It's just fine. You called me in here. I'll keep an eye on Batten. Don't worry. Yeah, I appreciate that, Clay, although I'll be keeping an eye on both of you. Anyway, just, just everyone just shut up for a second and let me think. And he spends a, a few moments there and then kind of steps back. Huh. What's, uh, what's huh? Well, it ain't so much what the note says as who it's from. Right. It says, we seek those with the faith to save us. Twilight Protocol is in effect. Go south to the house of many faiths. A.L. Who's A.L.? He's a, uh important figure around these parts? Right. Does anyone want to press him on, on that would, information? Would, anybody, would yeah. anyone else be able to put that together? Uh, let's see, you probably wouldn't. I don't know how, how familiar oh. Valyria is with the inner workings. I mean, I could, I, I as a human being could guess. But yeah, I, don't I know, know who it is, yeah. human. I don't, human. Okay. I'll give you, uh, you're, you're a ranger though, so I'll, okay. give you, uh, I'll give you a common knowledge roll and I'll, I'll give you to it at minus one. Okay. And uh, Aces, you can do common knowledge at a minus four just to see if there's any tatter or scrap of information still floating around okay. your brain. I aced. You aced it. I'm a D6. Uh, so I also I... aced. Oh, really? What? Aced oh. again. Aced again. Wow, that's why they time. call you Aces. So, so we both, <laughs> say, so we both <laughs> say it at the exact <laughs> same time. Okay. One, two, three. Abraham, Abraham Lane. Lane. What? <laughs> Andrew Lane. Yep. Yep, mm -hmm. that's, yep, what, we that's said. what we said. Not Andrew Abraham Lane. Lane. Andrew Lane. <laughs> what did you say? Abraham Lane. You are okay there. Yeah, yeah, well, 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 these folks both said Andrew Lane simultaneously <laughs> at the same time. Maybe uh, one of them would care to explain to you who Andrew Lane is. They seem to. Andrew Lane. Another name for Abraham Lincoln. That's right. Pretty sure. He was shot. Uh, Aces. Aces. What the hell? What? What the hell? Um, are we not? Okay, first we, of all, you. Clearly, do remember who Andrew? But second of all, shut up. Oh, but wasn't he? Shut up, Aces. Wasn't he shot? I thought we were working together. Yeah, it was kind of a code name. Yeah, so. yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, fine. Since cards are on the table here, yes, Abraham Lincoln was shot and killed. But who does he have riding around in there with him then? Anyone know? <laughs> no one that. I, no one wants know. to know. No one that we need to I worry too much about. We got. Uh, we got ways of keeping the uh, the riders You're sedate. Me you have. A man and two running the agency. That's what you're telling no. me. And you're worried we got about a, me. We got a good man running the agency. Mm. And we got people keeping an eye on him just to make sure that, you know, his, his rider don't take too much control. Okay. Him I trust. 
I trust him with my life, man, to two or no. You remains to be seen. Damn right. Ah, man, I have so many faiths. I don't, I don't know that. I don't uh, know that. Go south to the house of many faiths. I, I don't know what that, it's, what that uh, would be. Is that somewhere in Austin? I think I heard about that. Austin? Yeah. Give me a common knowledge roll. So this is, this is very much ranger territory. Nope. No? I got a three and a one, unless right. I got a plus or anything, but my common knowledge is pretty bad. Okay. So uh, you definitely know of the House of Many Faiths, and you know that it is something uh, that was established or, or at least bolstered not too long ago after everything went down with the cackler. But you've been traveling, Elijah Clay. You yeah. haven't been privy to any of that administrative stuff for quite a while, so you're not exactly sure where it has been set up, although your instincts do say Texas, and you got the, the, the slightest... Slightest inkling that it might have something to do with Austin, but it seems like quite a risk to just head straight to Austin on a hunch. It might do to do a little more research. No, I'm overconfident, though. You're overconfident? Uh, that's my hindrance. All right. So I'm going to Yep. Yay, it's Austin. hindrances. It's in Austin for sure. I'm pretty 100%, maybe 110% sure. Uh, I feel like if it was in Austin, the agency would have gotten wind of that at some point. Oh, uh, maybe they moved it, though. Yeah, that's possible. Is this a place I would know? The House of Many Faiths? Probably not, but you okay. do seem to know things that you're not supposed to know fairly often, so why don't you give me a common knowledge roll at a, uh, let's say a minus two, Valeria. Oh boy. Ooh, I aced it too. All right, come on. You guys got to calm down again. with these hey. aces. <laughs> Ace city. I'm aces. Uh, well, I got a 13. A 13? Yeah. Okay, so a uh, success with a raise or two there. Um, yeah, you have heard wind of this place. Uh, it's supposed to be something that the agent or that the rangers are keeping secret but it was kind of your job when working with the fourth ring to figure out things that uh mm -hmm. people didn't want you to figure out so you also know it's down south you know it's a stronghold you also know that it has been recently reinforced with uh with wards to keep the evil supernatural creatures that might seek to gain entrance at bay hmm. and you are also fairly sure it's in texas you've heard rumors of austin as well but even that was not something that you were able to discover with certainty. I've heard of this place. As a matter of fact, I have also heard that it might be in the Austin area. Um, but it seems that they've been bolstering their uh, defenses as of late, especially from um, Manitou friends like yours and Ugh. others of that kind. Well, that tracks. All right. Although, uh, Clay, it does seem like if you guys can find this, there should be plenty of rangers there, especially in light of everything that's going on, the Twilight Protocol being in effect, they're probably marshalling their forces, might not be the worst place to head. All right. And well, the, the head of the agency left a note behind saying to go there, so. Yeah, uh, I mean, if there's a lot of rangers there, we could use them. They say one ranger, one riot, but this is a big old riot. So uh, maybe a listen, bunch of rangers. Clay, are. I seen you shoot. And I'll be the first to begrudgingly admit you can do some damage with those pistols of yours, but... What do you mean begrudgingly? Are you going for your gun? No, I'm just getting a cigarette. I thought the Twilight Protocol was in effect. Twilight Protocol is in effect, but that doesn't mean I have to like it. Go on. I'm just saying, one riot, one ranger, sure. But that might be uh, everything going on, things are... Things are a bit topsy-turvy, Clay. I don't know if even you can be as much of a one-man army as you think you are. Yeah. No, I, I'm, I'm actually saying I'm going all four more rangers in this <laughs> predicament all right. we're in. All right. Okay. Listen, I got to remain here. Uh, clearly, there's some stuff we got to sort out here at agency headquarters and a whole nest of God knows how many nose ferrets behind that door that we got to exterminate. So I think I'm going to be bound here for the time being. But I'd say... You should get out of here, A. B, you should forget you ever saw this place or know where it is. Easy. Forgotten. Yeah. And if I hear wind of word of our headquarters getting out, if I see any looky-loos or, or tourists coming around trying to get a look at what we have operating here, I'll know exactly who to come for. Is that clear? Crystal. Aces, I don't know where exactly your mental faculties are at the moment. But if you've been reinducted into the agency, I can only hope that whoever made that decision knew what they were doing. And in deference to your uh, reputation, 
if you're willing to go along with this, along with your uh, roughneck friend there, I'm sure we could use the help. Yeah, let's go, you know? No well, time like the present, I always say. Hell, I've been traveling with this sad sack for a while now. Might as well keep going and see where it ends up. All right, then. Well, then, uh, I suppose you should all board the lift and get going. All right, here we go. All right, so you guys are getting into the hydraulic lift? I yes. got real confused about what kind of lift we were getting into for a second. What kind of lift? I was like, wait, what? No, this is... It's an what? elevator to space. I get it. We're going yeah. to space. No, I was thinking of the car. Get on up to space. Yep. <laughs> All right. Who's so you, with this lift? You guys get in the hydraulic lift, um, and you engage the lever, and Decker just watches you all the way up until the, the walls cut off your view of him. You ride up for what seems like an interminably long amount of time. It gets really difficult on this lift to, feel, to realize exactly how deep below the earth the agency's headquarters are. And you end up up top in the abandoned land base and office outside of Denver, Colorado. Uh, Everyone give me a notice right. roll, the three of you folks. Ramsey's just kind of hanging back, leaning against the wall, smoking a cigarette and waiting. Uh, I got a four. A four? Yeah. I got a five, one success. Okay. Five. five? All right, so everyone succeeds. You hear a little bit of a commotion from outside, which isn't surprising. I mean, you found out that you needed to head to the, the land basin office when you realized some of the townsfolk had been reporting uh, strange muted explosions from days previous, and you can only guess that all of the people that rode in to come to your aid made a little bit of a scene in town last time in Chapter 1, so uh, it sounds like there are some people milling around out front. Who they are and what their business might be, you can't tell from inside of the land basin office. All right, but we got to travel, right? So are our horses here? Are they somewhere? You don't have horses with what, you. You guys came by train. Horse. Well, it does, but your horse is at the stable. Oh, of course. <laughs> Why'd you put look at the, Okay, all right. I was doing an aside with them, so yeah, they knew it. where How we were. How much does his horse wander? What? His horse doesn't wander. His horse is at the stable. With I got a good, good horse. horse, okay. Um, but you are going to have to get past whoever these people. It might just be. Uh, it might be oh, some onlookers like... from town. There's, there's, there's some people. Like it, it sounds like some footsteps out on the front porch of the land basin office. Uh, maybe some knocks at the, the shuttered windows. We don't know if they're hostile, though. You have no idea. All right. So I'll, I'll walk ahead, and there's a closed door, right? There is. The place so, is locked down. So I'll go to the closed door and put my hand on my gun look at the, the three of them and just be like, two, three, and then I'll open the door and pull, undraw my gun okay. and see if anybody makes a move. Does anyone else do. do anything along with his uh, countdown of, uh, of things? Was it clear what uh, Elijah Clay was trying to get you to do to join in with I him? Feel He's like used it to communicating with rangers. <laughs> I, I probably, the minute you open the door, you you like count down. To, and then you open it up, and I will just walk right out with you holding the gun just right there. Do you have your, uh, your Gatling pistols out? I don't, pistols no. Uh -uh. Okay. Yeah. All right, and uh, Ramsey just kind of sits down in one of the chairs and puts his feet up on the desk and uh, knocks his hat down. Looks like he's just taking a nap. Hey, yeah. where, are you, where are you going? Excuse me. Can I help you, folks? Uh, outside, there are a few townsfolk looking around, but there is uh, one very, very um, noble-looking gentleman standing out just off the porch kind of looking up and regarding uh, the office. Would you like to describe him to us, Padre? Uh, yeah, uh, Padre Ernesto de Diaz is a um, somewhat swarthy, well put together, uh, clearly a Catholic priest. Like he, he dresses in all black and wears his hair like back and kind of clean and has a, a large beard uh, that's well kept and he, carry, he wears a cross around his neck. Uh, Okay. That's most of him. So there's a, there's a couple of townsfolk that are, that are in investigating, trying to get a look inside, and then you see this individual standing off. Oh, oh, uh, sorry, sir. Um, I, I don't mean no trouble. I, we were just, we heard some, yeah. some strange commotion, a little bit of a, a calamitous noise, as it were, and we were just trying to make sure all folks were good inside. Uh, as I said, we can just go about our business to see that badge nope. on your chest. Yep. We got no, uh, no, no bad blood with the Confederacy. We were loyal supporters here nope, sorry. of the uh, Confederacy. Just, uh, clearing, just making sure everything yeah. was all right, but Aces looks like he uh, may do. Well, we'll just uh, be going. We were on our way to uh, the general uh, store to get, uh, what was it, Elizabeth? Oh, oh, we're getting flour. Okay. That, yep. That, Just me and the missus going to get some flour. Uh, uh, pleasure to see you. Uh, what good. is it you uh, stopped by here for? You just heard commotion? 
Is uh, is she a ranger too? Oh, <laughs> she don't look like one. No, she ain't a ranger. She's a. Guest. I have the same rank as ranger right now. Uh. No. Oh. Oh. No. no uh, give me a that. persuade roll. <laughs> I think I'm real persuasive. I think I would outright t say that's not true. <laughs> well, let her make a persuade roll first, and then you can just immediately undercut it. I'm fine with that. <laughs> a two and a three. You're gonna spend one of your fate chips knowing that right after you say this, he's, he's gonna, gonna say going no. To say you're right. I won't so. stop you. you I kind of want it. to, but no, fine. I won't. You're not going to? Fine, no. Uh. She uh, don't look like No, a she ring. sure as hell ain't. Listen, y'all can go about your business. To get the flower. Yeah, I don't... Because that's where we were going, Mr. Ranger, sir, just to get some flour. Why you're making up a bunch of hugs. Ain't, ain't make up, she's going to make a cake for our little ones? You're still going. Just go. All right. But, uh, you, you, good. All right. And they, they hurry off. However, the, uh, the priest standing outside does not seem phased by your appearance and is in no hurry to leave. Father, you here for some flour, too? Something about him looks familiar to you, but you're not entirely sure what. Uh, no, I'm not here for flower. Don't I, don't I know you? Uh, would I know him from anything? I don't think you two have ever officially met. Yeah. Um, however, I will say that uh, Hank, or, or that Elijah Clay here, despite uh, the ranger's badge, does look a little bit pale, does mm -hmm. look a little pallid, might give off a little bit of a whiff of the odor of death. Or and alcohol. Or alcohol, as the case may be. <laughs> and uh, you definitely know that. You know what those are signs of. And you do see the badge on him, so you might have a good guess at who he might be. Give me a common knowledge roll. Okay. And I'll give you a plus two due to his uh, somewhat corpse-like appearance. Uh, I got a three. A three plus I... two is a five. Oh, yeah. Which hey, is a nailed success. It. Plus two. <laughs> <laughs> at a no guess... Worries. You think that this might be the Elijah Clay that Hank Ketchum often spoke fondly of. Uh, I don't think we've met, but I think I might have an idea of who you are. How's that now? You're uh, part of an organization that you wear on your chest, yes? Yeah, Rangers, that's right. Well, I knew one of them. Is that so? Hank Ketchum. Hank Ketchum. You knew Hank Ketchum. Legendary Texas Ranger. Yes, thank I did. You, sir. Yes, thank you, Legendary. Legend yeah, we're just on our way to get flour. I just, everybody knows about Hank Ketchum. Yeah, we're just gonna get flour. We're still here. We came back back because we realized earlier we headed off towards uh, not the direction of the general store, so we just thought we'd right. walk by and toss out yep. a little exposition. And yep. Now we're, okay, we'll That's be on fine. our way. Yep. Pleasure to, okay. Everybody knows, yep, all right. Hank Ketchum, yes, everybody knows Hank Ketchum. That's, uh, that's quite a person to know. Uh, well. He's he was a, a good man. Oh, he was a friend then. Give me a notice roll. Okay. I'll give you a plus two on this too. I got a five. Was a good man. That's a strange turn of phrase. I think myself a pretty good judge of character, and Hank Ketchum was one of the better people I've met. So do I not know that he has passed away? You do not. This is news to you. Uh, you, you're saying that like he's not around, or is a... Uh, I'm uh, sorry, I, I assumed that your age, that your group already knew. Ah, uh, shit. No, I didn't, uh, no one told me that. Ah, uh, shit, all right. Hank Ketchum, huh? You also know Hank Ketchum. Okay. And Aces, you probably do too. I mean, they write dime, dime novels about him, after all. Uh... He's uh, definitely a pretty, pretty heavy loss, especially with everything going on right now. But you do wonder who would have the, the stones to be able to take down Hank Ketchum. Yeah, how, how did that even... Hank caught him Ketchum. Yeah, who, uh, hmm. who's going to take care of his kid, Ash? Is he running around, is he running around Ketchum's... Of... <laughs> is no, around Ketchum's does, squirrels? you don't say that. <laughs> you don't say that. Who's going to take care of his son? Why can't he have a son? All oh, right. my God. He can't have a son named Ash. <laughs> I didn't say Ash. Uh, give me a common knowledge roll at a minus four. Oh. If you um, succeed, and please, please, and please fail. Also, I'm gonna bend you the hell out of this. As far as like, I aced it. Wow. <laughs> as far as uh, I aced mystical. It. Oh my god. <laughs> Why do you do that? Hold on one second. Let's deal with this. Let's deal with this fiasco here for a this moment. This is 15 minus 411. Everyone knows Saint Catherine got himself a son. Little boy by the name of Ashley. 
<laughs> Always you? trying to rope them steer, catch them birds, train them rats around the homestead. Yeah. Mm. Always saying he wanted to be the best, like no one ever would. He was a sweet kid, but kind of weird, but... Last I heard, he took off on his own. Well, striking out in the world, making a name for himself. Well, but what do I know? I'm just a traveling wanderer. Well, by the grace of God, I know nothing about his son, so we can hope that he's still alive and well. But well how, how'd he go? Like, well, well, how, did, how do you know about this before I do? Because you were there. It takes something pretty powerful to take out a man like Hank Ketchum. I'd imagine. How much do all of you know about what has been happening? Uh, More specifics than that? I, I'm sorry, I, 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 I never know what to say to most people. It, it can scare people when they find out that creatures and beings, I don't want to call them men. Oh, you can speak freely here, Father. I mean, you see his badge, I, you see aces dressed in the, uh, in the digs of, a, of an agent, and this Young lady here looks a little bit off herself. She's got a, a, a bit of an arcane aura to Which her. I think is why I'm even saying as much as I am. Sure. Um, but I, I think I'm, I'm probably, would I feel at home with uh, Harrod? Well, that's a personal question. Uh, <laughs> that's gonna depend. Now, you, you know that Hank often spoke highly of Elijah. Mm -hmm. uh, even though uh, he is in a little bit of a situation. But you do know he was shot in the back by some, some low-down piece of scum, and that's what brought him clawing back to life. So as far as Hank was aware, Elijah was in control and driving the sh steering the ship, at least for the time being. You've heard of the Cackler? Yeah. Everyone's heard of the Cackler. Everyone's heard of the Cackler. Well, he's nothing to be taken lightly. Extremely powerful. Like nothing I've, I've ever seen before. That's what did Hank in? Actually wasn't. But it was someone, someone powerful like the Cackler. Turns out that Hank caught a bullet right through his Texas Ranger badge. Oh. Care of the deadly drifter. Oh. Jasper okay. Stone himself. Oh, that's right. Stone. Sorry, I, I, I mixed up my... No worries. ...my facts. It's cool. Padre knows it. That doesn't mean you yeah. do. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan's new to this. My question earlier was, yes. with uh, Valeria's mystical interest, does that go both directions? Would she... I mean, I feel like she would put together that he has some powers of his own, that they're coming from somewhere else. That he does? Yeah. What gives you that impression, Valeria? Because of the things he's talking about. Give me an occult role. Because she looked at his character sheet. That means I get a plus two because I'm a scholar. That's true. <laughs> okay. Ooh. I got a eight. Success with a raise? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this uh, very staunchly dressed Catholic priest who's running around with Hank Ketchum and was there when Ketchum caught a bullet from Jasper Stone. You get the impression there might be more going on to him than just being a traveling priest. And you've, you've met a couple of these, uh, these righteously empowered folk before. He's given that off in waves. So tell me, how is it that you became uh, able to do the things you can do? That's not the sort of question you ask when you're given these sort of powers. Maybe you should, though, because I would really like to know how that works. Well, this may not be something that you particularly care for, but in the world of faith, if you are given strength by God, it is not the role of the vessel to ask where that strength comes from. And do you think it came from God? I do. But can you be sure? If I could be sure, it would not be faith. He's got you there, Valeria. Uh, yes, but faith is just another term for things we don't know. Oh, sorry, we were just coming back from the general store I with our flower, it. and we just thought we'd just chime in. You sorry. actually got the flower, I get it, all We right. do, yeah, we needed a lot of it uh, on account of the cakes, Ranger Sir, that we're cooking for our little. Are you making drugs or flowers? I don't understand what you're Not at all, flowers. we're just on our way back to the homestead, just thought we'd stop by and see you're all just, you're involved in some business. We'll, 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 we'll just uh, get out of your hair. I'll move up close and I go, and you, you just don't forget, ma'am. You bring a slice of that, that cake back here uh, for, for us, since you, you know, can't kind of, kind of be coming through here 
Every once in a while, I, I what, might have liked no, to taste some of that. We're not, we're not tolling people for cake here. No, 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 do not. I, Go home. I'd, I'd take some cake. I wouldn't say no to cakes. Oh my God. Although what? too much cake is gluttony. Yeah. So should we bring the cake or? No, get, yeah. go you, you make it, you bring just it. Just yeah. go, you no. It I'm just get, it's just that we're getting some different. Uh, yeah, my wife is uh, getting a touch confused and I must confess I am as well. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just if you come back through here, bring cake with you. Sure, all right. all right. Well, you heard the folks, Elizabeth. Let's go cook those cakes that we definitely set out today you bake to a cake. cook. What? You bake a cake. Right. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I, mean, I, I mostly do the, the farming and the, the animal rearing. And the weird My wife does the... Oh. Well, we should get on. Yeah, yeah right. we'll just go um, bake those cakes, and uh, maybe we'll bring some back by. I guess that's what I'm doing today. All right. Who are these characters? <laughs> just two <laughs> random people that apparently <laughs> keep stopping by. And um, they hurry off to bake some cakes. <laughs> and then, and then uh, I move close to Padre. Uh, Padre, this is all very sweet and touching. I'm uh, very sorry for your loss, but uh, we need to be going now. If you want to come along with, well, hey, you strike me as the type of sort that might be good to have along. But uh, Yeah, on that note, where exactly is it that we are going? Uh, heading south, right? Best south. we know is heading towards Austin. Texas, now. yeah. Till we get more information, which and I'm that's, sure uh, I can help with. Of course, not on me to question the uh, almighty knowledge of the agents or the rangers or whoever the hell you're saying you're with now, Miss Batten. Probably Satan. I wouldn't be too surprised. Yeah. Really? But uh, are we really going to book fair and waste time on a, a hunch? What uh, else are we going to do? You got a better idea? How I'm about not... you, Padre? You seem well informed. You ever heard of a place called the uh, House of Many Faiths? Have I heard about a place called the House of Many Faiths? You have indeed. Hank Ketchum uh, is uh, a ranger who was always very, very much in the know and spoke about it. Let's see how much you remember. Give me a common knowledge. All righty. But I'll give you a plus one for spending some time with uh, Mr. Ketchum. I'll, I'll father take of Ashley. it. I got a five. <laughs> a five? Mm -hmm. uh, you don't know much about what the House of Faiths actually is, but you do remember that Ketchum said it was outside of the city limits of Austin. That I, you know for sure. I've heard something of it. Uh, Ketchum mentioned it somewhere outside of Austin, not in the city proper. Austin it is then. Third Austin. time's a charm, it sounds. Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. well, now I suppose we can uh, book a train and whatnot to get down there. Yeah, that, that's a lot, a lot faster than horses. Let's do that. All right. If you need my aid, I'm happy to come. You're welcome to come, Padre. We'll take any help we can get. God takes me wherever his hand is needed. All right. So is that the plan? That's Everyone's going to head down to Austin, Texas. Mm -hmm. Can we take a plane instead? You yeah. cannot take a plane. You have Can we take a horse <gasps> that travels through a really creepy space? You cannot. Does anyone else have any questions about modes of travel that are not train that I can shoot down? <laughs> what about sideways elevator? Sideways elevator. Oh, that's, that's definitely a train. not going to happen. That's a train. Can we that take turns train. throwing each other? It is. Right? That's yeah. a train. Until we get there? Yes, but it's going to be much slower. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> can we take a dirigible? No, no dirigible. Anyone else? Pergola? Aces? Pergola? Pergola? Nope, not, not up there. Oh. Pergola? Pergola? Well, I mean, we are kind of taking that on a yeah. train. Yeah, we can visit the pergola on a train. All right, we, we, all, we so all run there. So a train, man. <laughs> we all in, run there. <laughs> in Naruto run style. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so you all decide to take a train. Um, however, the train is not going to be able to take you directly to Austin. It can get you some, some of the way south, but you're going to have to take a trail uh, the rest of the way there. So you're probably going to need to procure yourself some horses. Other than uh, Ranger Clay, who, as established by his character sheet, already has a horse it that is horse stabled here. up nicely. So uh, do the rest of you have horses? Um, not according to my no. character sheet. I have but. power points. Similar. P similar, but not the same thing. All right, no. so uh, you might want to get... I've got a Bible, and that's it. You might want to get horses here in Denver. It doesn't say how big my horse is. What if it's big enough for all of us? It's not. Okay. It's a riding horse, not a Ooh, giant boy. horse. Just thought. Minivan Maybe. horse? <laughs> not a thing. <laughs> all right. My horse's name is Caravan. <laughs> so who else needs a horse? All the rest of you? I, think I need a horse. Else. All right. So you're probably going to want to do that here uh, okay. before you board the train. 
Otherwise, you're not sure exactly where it is you're going to need to get off and uh, how, how many horses are going to be in supply there. OK. Send Great. the to a stable? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome, folks. I am, uh, I am Amadeus Johnson. I am the proprietor of uh, Amadeus Johnson's Fine Beasts of Burden. That's what it says, yeah. Are you uh, folks in the market for a, uh, a magnificent creature? What walks on four legs? Um, Got them hooves, majestic manes. If you are referring to horses, then yes. I am, of course, referring to horses, miss, but uh, I find the word horse too mundane a term to describe the grandeur of these animals. I think that might just be a misunderstanding of what the term horse means. Yeah. Well, perhaps my horses are not for you then, miss. Oh. No, I think they are. We need three, please. Well, you drive a hard bargain. <laughs> <laughs> three horses for you fine folks. Well, I could probably see fit to let go of a couple of my beasts for, uh, let's say, I don't know, you seem kindly folk, uh, about $150 a head. <laughs> what? That seems uh, quite high for your horse. Horses. Well, perhaps you should meet one of these beasts before you say so, miss. Before I decide. With such haste. Goldie, come on in, girl. Hip, hip. And out of a, out of a stable, uh, uh, a, a very, like, yellow golden horse just kind of pulls out the, the tab, keeping her stable door locked, and nudges it open, and then prances out in a, in a, a showman's pose and sort of strikes, strikes a pose in the middle of the stable floor. This here's Goldie. Is this a, a show horse or a horse that can handle hard travel? Miss, this is a horse that can handle anything you throw at it. Hard travel, show, rotten tomatoes, anything, anything at all. Goldie's seen it, she's weathered it, she's kept her head high and her dignity intact. She's a horse that would be lucky to call any of you a temporary steward of her wild, wild heart. You don't got any, like, discount horses? Why do you ask? Cause we Goldie ain't... too uh, rich for your blood? Oh, I, I, have a, I got a horse. I'm just making uh, the best we can out you of this. You got a horse? Yeah. Then maybe you should step aside, sir, <laughs> while I deal with these folks that are still in the market. How do you feel about supplying horses to uh, Texas Rangers and the agency? Well, that's a great question. Texas Rangers and the agency. Now, most people in, uh, in Denver will uh, declare for neither or one or the other, but both. Who? That's a dangerous tack to take. Um, give me. I a, like this one. <laughs> what are you trying to do with that? Are you trying to intimidate? Or are you yeah. trying to? Okay. I, I think I'm trying to basically. Yeah, I guess intimidate. Give me intimidation. Okay. Do I have that? No. Cool. All right. So untrained. <laughs> it's a D4 minus two. I aced. You aced it. it. Of course you did. Uh. So that's an. Eight. An eight, which is a success with a raise. All right, and this gentleman, though he is a lot of bluster, is not quite as strong-willed as he would like you to believe, so I'm going to let that go unopposed. For the uh, rangers and the agents? Mm -hmm. You feel good about trying to impede their important work by charging them a ridiculous amount? Well, miss, I, of course I, I don't feel good about impeding the work of so, such fine uh, uh, establishments as that, but uh, it would be a bit bad for business for me to be seen selling to both sides at the same time. Oh, you're worried about being seen whenever you're directly working with both the Texas Rangers. And Did the I say that? No, I ain't worried about being seen. Uh, I wouldn't he clearly is. Uh, he's, he's shown his hand a bit much at this well, point. I, 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 wait, 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 maybe we can come to some sort of arrangement. Uh, if you're worried about it looking bad for selling them, then just give them to us. Well, he does have a point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me Persuade at a plus two, because I'm going to say this, uh, this argument train is working pretty well in your favor. <laughs> uh, it's a five. Well, with the plus two, that's... Uh, <laughs> so giving them... Yeah. Yeah. That's a mighty fine donation to any organization. Ain't it I just? Don't say so I mean, myself. he's a preacher, so like. That's right, a man of know. cloth himself. Of course, and I'm a God-fearing uh, man here. All That's right. All okay, are. all right. Uh, listen, Goldie. Goldie, why don't you go fetch your, uh, your younger brothers? Hip, hip. And, and Goldie just kind of, <laughs> kind of gives him some side-eye. 
and then goes over to a dark, shadowy back corner of the stables and just kind of like knocks her head against a couple of the doors. And three horses, uh, if you're gonna call them that, uh, they look a bit, uh, they look a bit mangy. They look like they got quite a bit of donkey blood somewhere in their in their bloodline. They come, they come sort of like staggering up to the front and just stare at Goldie. And Goldie just makes a little, and then just trots back into her, her uh, tank. And they all just start putting their hooves over the edge of the, the stable door and trying to like, and, and oh, 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 all right, boys, 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 uh, boys, let's not, let's not hurt ourselves again. And he goes over and opens the door and leads yeah. these three sort of bow-legged uh, horses over to you guys. All right, I can, uh, I can probably see fit to, to let go of these three here. They're, uh, they're Goldie's kin. And, uh, you know, they, they came out a bit later in her mother's life, but uh, all the same, they're uh, horses of a sort. I'm sorry, you trained your horse to go get the other horses on command. Well, I'm a bit shorthanded here, and uh, Goldie's no, smart enough to... Uh, I just think you were given a true gift in your ability to train horses. Well, I did offer to sell her to you, but, you know, if you want them for free, I can give you... Uh, Cletus, Derek, and Jeff. <laughs> well, uh, all Jeff, of God's animals are... are Jeff looks like a fine horse, uh, mm -hmm. Amadeus. Well, thinking. you got a good eye then, sir. All right, take these three and uh, go with my blessing and with all due secrecy and haste. Who, who is it that you are afraid of uh, seeing you with the agency of Texas Rangers? No one in particular, miss, but... It, don't do in Denver to be seen uh, throwing down your lot with either side if you wish to sell to both. I see. Well, you are currently selling to both. Isn't that better? Actually, you're not selling anything, so I think you're doing just fine there, Amadeus. Well, I think our business concludes. Con uh, con uh, little little interaction has concluded. So uh, perhaps you should take your uh, your your hard hard bargained gains and uh, just get on to where it is you need to go, and you can use the back door. All right. Yeah, that sounds mighty fun. Uh, saddle up, y'all. Let's do it. All right. So, uh, yeah, he'll, he'll throw in some blankets if you want. Right. For, uh, and it's not exactly a saddle, but it'll, it'll cushion you a little bit. And you do your best to get astride uh, Cletus, Derek, and Jeff. <laughs> they don't fight you too much, but they definitely don't help. Uh, the, the, as, as the ride goes on, uh, Padre Ernesto is just constantly talking about Goldie. He was actually really impressed by <laughs> how magnificent that horse was. <laughs> It truly was an achievement to raise a horse with such skill and talent. Oh. As, as you're doing that, your horse is like tripping all over the place. <laughs> just, yeah. just stumbling to the side the whole way down yeah. the street. What's that, Father? Well, I couldn't hear you. Uh, it, it's, it's good to know that people with hard work can be rewarded with such magnificence. That's that right. wonderful horse, Goldie. That's knowledge mm -hmm. and study. Yes, and perseverance. It is. And God gives you the time and the capability to do such things. Or maybe it's just you. He could, I didn't do it. <laughs> he could open up a, you know a gym name. of some sort, maybe teach other people how to train <laughs> animals to do tricks and such. A gym for horses? Come on now, aces. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just thinking out loud anyways. <laughs> the brain's still a little scrambled there. I want to thank you folks kindly for seeing fit to bargain for a horse for me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't remember. How many people we yeah. Comfortable as I am riding behind the Texas Ranger here. Yeah, no, uh, pony up here, come on. With pleasure, sir. <laughs> yeah, hold on tight. <laughs> all right, and uh, so you make it with Clint all the way down to the, the rail station, and you board, uh, you board a train heading in the general direction of Texas, but it's not going to take you all the way there. And on the train, uh, after, after trying to force Cletus, Derek, and Jeff into uh, what you know, a small bit of confinement you can, you can get them into on the, the train's horse cars. Uh, you pull out some maps and you try and figure out how exactly you're going to get from where this train ends up down to Austin. There's not going to be a clear stretch of uh, track that's going to take you all the way there. So you are going to have to take a trail. And that's what you're all trying to look at now. So uh, which one of you would we say makes the most sense would have a map on their person? Me. You? I would definitely have a map with them. I would say that counts. You're, uh, you seem to be pretty well stocked with, with books and other, and other effects. Mm -hmm. Anyone uh, super helpful at survival? Anyone got the survival skill? I got it. You? Yeah. I feel yeah. like all you really need to survive is like a good sense of like 
faith in the Lord. And I know I'm kind of going to the same well over and over again here, but. Sure, are you trying to say you do not have the survival skill? No, I don't. Okay, great. So you don't have survival. Uh, you do not have survival, do I, you, Aces? Nope. All right, then perhaps we should let the ranger take a look at the map, but anyone who wants to make a support roll uh, can can try and, and I'll let you make it roll, it roll untrained since this is just a map and you're trying to look it over with him. Uh, I'll look at it. Yeah. You're gonna I'll take a look, Aces and Valyria. All right, so give me support rolls. D4 minus two. Every success and raise you get is going to add a plus one to the ranger's roll. I yep. aced it. Um, that's a five. A five? Yeah. Okay. Add it on with my zero. All right, great. So you get a you get a plus one as Aces just starts pointing out all the places he uh, wandered to yeah. when oh, he, had, yeah. he had lost himself for a bit. Uh, Valeria yeah. keeps trying to whisper uh, actual helpful things into your into your ear. Probably lost all my money there. Go this way. Care about that. Don't yeah. mind him. Just if we if right. we go that way, we could take this train right. and then oh. that path, yep. and that trail right into Austin. Yeah, that. All right. Yeah, you don't want to go there. That's where Peaches what? McKee is. Who's Peaches? Peaches McKee. Yeah. You did, you just don't want to mess with him. Peaches McKee is just not. Well, not a, Peaches he, McKee? He's a tough customer. No, he's yeah, not. Peaches go that way. McKee. All right, so give me a survival roll, Sergeant Clay. Uh, I got a four with the plus one. A four with the plus one. All right, so taking a look at the map, uh, it looks like the, the trail that makes the most sense to go from the railhead with your horses that you have procured, although you're not entirely sure how well Cletus, Derek, and Jeff will carry you, but at least as far as they absolutely can. Um, it looks like the Chisholm Trail is going to be your best bet to get down there. All right, Chisholm Trail it is. Then. Now, Ranger Clay, yeah. I'm going to need a common knowledge roll from you. And let's see, do you have your Ranger's Bible with you? Yes, yeah. it's on my character. All right, Ranger's so Bible. give us a regular Bible. Let's do a plus two. What's the, it's the Ranger's Bible we're okay. going to call it. Ranger's Bible. I aced it. Aced it. Can I have a Bible? Nope. Save some of these aces, guys. I won't. How many times did you just roll that? I, it almost fell off, so I rolled again. Okay. Uh, 13. 13. Yeah. What a great number. Success with two raises and uh, enough to remember. Oh, right. The Chisholm Trail ain't exactly a, a friendly place for you all to be traveling, especially not as lawmen, seeing as how the rangers have had problems along that route with uh, the odd run-in with a hanging judge or uh -oh. Oh. two hmm. or more. You know, I just remembered something. And Peaches McKee <laughs> kind of runs along the Chisholm Trail sometimes. Anyway, do whatever you want, I guess. Don't, don't talk to me anymore. Hmm? Don't talk to me anymore. If you're supposed to be as renowned as you are, it seems like something you could handle. Yeah, what happened to... Oh, I can handle it. Sure, I just, I can't, you know, take the rest of you. You think I couldn't handle Peaches McKee? I, I don't know, maybe. Anyway, I mean, with those pea shooters? I will tell them of this once we're already on the train and it's moving. Okay, well, you're on the train and it oh, is moving are. now. Then I will tell them now. Do you want to tell them after you get on the trail then? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. That's so, a uh, idea. looking at the map with uh, with Valeria and uh, with uh, Ace's friendly reminders to look out for Peaches McKee, whoever <laughs> that person may be, he sounds like a tough customer for sure. Uh, you guys find out the Chisholm Trail looks like the most direct route. So, yeah. uh, a few days later, the train comes into its rail ahead. You disembark. You get. Cletus, Derek, and Jeff off the train along with your horse. What's your horse's name, Clint? Uh, Abel. Abel. Yeah. Abel. A good, strong biblical name yep. for a horse. That's right. I want a biblical named horse. Sorry, I you mean, have Cletus. Sure, oh. Cletus is in the Bible. <laughs> Cletus is close enough. Yeah, it's very close. There's a, there's a, a there's couple a of Cletus in the likes in there. Doofus? Have you ever read the Bible? Dorcas. <laughs> yeah, once or no, twice. Yes, actually, for Sunny. All right. <laughs> you're asking me or, or uh, my character? No. Yeah, are you doing this in character or out of character? 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 You're all saying Cletus is a Bible name. <laughs> all right. So uh, you, guys, you guys disembark, you get your yes. horses, and you start yes. heading down the trail. Um, everyone give me a notice roll. Uh, about a day of travel, and, and it hasn't been that hard at all, actually. It's been somewhat pleasant. The weather's been mild. The sky's been overcast, so the sun isn't beating down too hard. Um, but give me a notice roll. But I did tell them about the stuff. Not yet, you haven't. Oh, I haven't yet. Okay. No, I'm going to take this as a dramatic moment. I love it. I'm going to take some liberty. I love it, my dude. Okay. And no pluses or minuses? Nope. Okay. Seven. Seven. Eleven. Eleven. Twenty. Twenty. <laughs> what? I aced it three times. That's a pretty good notice roll. I think that might be deserving. Hey! Yay! Yeah. Especially since you got glasses, you know? Yeah. You want to draw it yourself? 
Yeah. I draw blues, so if you want me to draw it for you. I should let him draw. I should. But this time, it's going to be a blue. I did it! <laughs> Success. Pretty good. Pretty good. Called it. But and what did you get, Padre? I got a five. A five. Wait, can we all do that? What? No. <laughs> um, I have one less. I'm, I so those race. of you that just got the one success, uh, you just have this sensation. Even though the the air is clear, uh, you haven't run into any other living souls. You just keep getting this fleeting sensation that you are being watched. Although there is no one around uh, for miles, even the ridges off to the, the right and left that could disguise uh, the presence of folks. You've been keeping your eye on those just for safety, but you see nothing. Not even a whole lot of animal life, which strikes you as a little bit strange, but you, you just keep getting that sensation you can't shake. You think you keep catching fleeting glimpses of something out of the corner of your eye, way off in the distance, All right. on both sides of the trail, both, both of the distant ridges. From time to time, you just catch movement, but every time you look, nothing's there. Okay. Although you are starting to grow suspicious that yeah. uh, that maybe trouble is heading your way. Keep my hand on my Valeria, gun. you, as per usual, are keeping a sharp eye out on your environment. You did not get as far as you did uh, just, just faking your way through being loyal right next to Ivor Holly's side without learning to always be looking for an exit route. And once or twice, you're catching sights of... of flashes of movement off in the distance as well. Just once, when you happen to look that way, you see for the briefest of instants what looks like three dark-robed figures just standing around an old skeletal tree. But then as soon as you notice them, they shimmer away almost like a heat mirage. Although, as far as you can tell, it's not hot enough for anything like that to be occurring. Would that mean anything to me? Give me an occult roll. I will then. I get a plus two. Uh, I aced it again. Isn't this your die? I did let you borrow my wild die. <laughs> uh, Loaded. Let's see. Plus two, 11, 12, 13. 13. Wow, another 13. Okay. Um, dark robed figures, in general, not the most pleasant thing to catch sight of, even if they may have not been there. You're not entirely sure. You have heard some, some rumors about this trail, though, and the unfortunate deaths that many travelers uh, who move among it, especially in smaller groups, have met. It seems like there's a, a, an oddly high rate of people taking their own lives by seemingly hanging, hanging themselves from trees along this route, although uh, it's always a little bit circumspect, uh, the situation of those suicides. You do know that the rangers have a tendency to keep things very mum about the Chisholm Trail when it comes to those deaths. Um, Elijah. Yeah? What, uh, what information do you have about this trail? Because I feel like I have, uh, heard quite a few stories about folks not quite making it through this path. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it seems that maybe we're being followed yeah. by yeah. something that isn't quite natural. Yeah. Usually I would argue with it, but that's 100% correct. All that's right. So, yeah. are you <laughs> telling Someone's me? watching us. Yeah, I should have told you earlier, but I figured that we should wait till we're on the trail. You had information that this was a dangerous path to take, and you didn't let us know. I mean, if I had told you earlier, would you, you would have whined about not taking it, but, like, I think we can handle it. We're I mean, good. Aces, me and you. I told you about peaches, didn't God I? God damn it. Don't talk about peaches no more, all right? Well, you just, you know. Pretty sure it's a thing with your imagination. You can ignore whatever you want. But scrambled eggs in your Perhaps God the rest you can let those of us who are not uh, truly inducted into the agency or the rangers or uh, uh, dark arts uh, bosoms. What in the hell you're all talking about? Oh, we we're just having some trouble with... Uh, or is it just me, Padre? Are you also in the know here? No, I also don't know what's going all on. All right, yeah, perhaps you could enlighten myself and the priest. Yep. I it seems you. like maybe he could be useful in uh, any number of situations involving things dark and... Uh, Untoward. It's a specialty. It's his specialty. Y'all know what a hanging judge is? I've heard stories. The stories might be a little, little, a little more true than you thought. That's all I'm saying. And, uh, uh, well, Chisholm Trail's kind of known for that. So, you know, uh, just keep your eyes wide open, especially up there, up there. Um, that's what I've been seeing movement around. Could the, be animals. Those be the, uh, the folks that take you when you're, uh, 
least expecting it and string you up from a tree after passing judgment on you. Oh, right. see, you did know. You knew the whole time. So if they take you when you're least expecting it, how is it exactly we're supposed to keep an eye out for them? Uh, Seeing as how they're going to wait until... You know, we ain't expecting them to be there. You know, they say that, but I feel like I'll catch them. Do like, they? I'm pretty good. I'll catch them. Huh. Uh, okay. Listen, you may be pretty good, Clay, but you ain't no Hank catch them. All right. Well, that's uncalled for and a little too soon, all right? I miss them too, but... Just a little wordplay to keep myself amused out here on the trail. All right. Well, if you want to amuse yourself, you can get it off my horse. That don't seem very funny to me at all. Do uh, these hanging judges usually appear as black-robed figures? Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. that's... Yeah, that tracks. Cause well, then uh, they did you are see making, them? Cause, yeah, uh, I did. They're making themselves known already. Oh, all right. Well, let's, uh, could you just point them out and I'll just start oh, shooting? Not Do I know anymore. anything about hanging judges at all? Yeah, so uh, anyone who has the occult skill, yeah. go ahead and give me a roll oh, for that. I do. Okay. I, got I forgot you everything. Do it at a plus two. I'm a cowboy wizard. I got a seven. A seven? I got a five. A five. I got a six. Okay. Wizard. You don't have a cult? Nope. Okay. I forgot everything. That's true. <laughs> I forgot my cult. Aces, you learned, you knew more about hanging judges yeah. than you. Knows about Peach and Makilo. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, all right. So everyone just got a, a success story. then. Okay. Yeah. Um, you guys know that supposedly uh, they can be put down with the bullets from a lawman's gun. You know that there's a little bit more to it than that, but you'll be damned if right now you can remember exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. Shoot first, remember later. That's, that's, yeah, that's your fourth motto. That's my fourth <laughs> motto. <laughs> it, I mean, so we don't know like if that's it? There's no other way to handle them? Uh, you just know a lot of bad things they can do. Okay. Yeah. Kind of seems like you two are the only ones who can take care of them in this instance. And do they seem generally, I, I guess, just from context, seems like it would be. Do they seem evil aligned? Like, are they? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, the, the stories of, of why they have hung people, uh, or hanged people, um, tend to be not for, not for breaking any actual law, but seemingly at their, at their whims. Mm -hmm. They are judge, jury, and executioner out here on the Chisholm Trail. And only God can judge. Yeah, I don't think well, there's any... Uh... Judges can judge too, Padres. Kind of well, they're name. wrong in doing it. I mean, you can try try that uh, tactic out, Padre, but uh, I'm not so sure maybe Clinton... <sighs> well, I may seem like a simple man of God, but when it comes to situations like that, I have tactics that are somewhat more practical. Well, good to hear. Good, good yeah. to know, yeah. Good. Yeah, it's uh, getting pretty late in the day. Perhaps we should find a place to uh, make camp, and uh, seems like it would be best if we posted a pretty thorough guard. Yeah, yeah. if they only attack when we're unawares, if we're always awares, then that's a, uh, you know. Aces is a man after my own mind. Mm. Yeah, for some, not some. All right, so where do you guys want to try and make camp? Uh, right here. Please. Is there a nice tree we could be under? A nice tree? A tree yeah. or... Yeah, a like a nice skeletal tree with some low-lying no, no, branches no. that seem like they could support a lot no, of weight. No, no, yeah. no, no. Words no? My mouth. That's not what I said. How, how about like a <laughs> rock nice. outcropping so we have something against our back? <laughs> a rock outcropping. Is everyone else cool with looking for a rock outcropping? Sure. So yes, I said yep. tree, but all right, rocks. All right, everyone you give me notice. Hanging like on that tree. tree uh, plan. Convenient it's tree? Convenient for. It's very convenient. For the hanging judges. Give me notice. It'd be confusing to them. Seven. Seven. No. Five. Five? Oh, you're right. I have a minus one to vision-based rolls that I missed earlier. I got a four. A four. Okay, so no one got a success with a raise. So uh, you spend some time continuing on the trail, looking out for anything that looks like a defensible position for you all to camp and try and be able to keep your eyes on as many approaches as you can. However, Nothing immediately presents itself. So even as darkness starts to fall and you all start to feel the weariness of the day set in and settle into your phones, you still keep going, keeping an eye out for everything. Uh, so you're going to have to push through, even though you all did make successes, you eventually do find a place that looks defensible with a, a couple of rocky boulders that you can put at your back. You all push quite a little ways out. You're gonna take a level of fatigue. Am I fatigued? Because I'm harrowed. Oh, not you. Yeah. For uh, pushing yourselves oh, past, uh, good. past, oh well, because I'm dead. Uh, but eventually, you do find a spot. Uh, moving on towards like towards midnight, you eventually find a, a place illuminated by by moonlight and lantern light. 
that seems like you could set up your camp. All right, let's do it. Good, because I want to get off this godforsaken horse. What's wrong with my horse? Nothing, it just ain't as comfortable, you know, sharing it. God oh. doesn't forsake horses unless they do things really wrong. I don't know, Padre. <laughs> Looks like your horse might have been a, quite a sinner earlier on in life. Might have yes, been well. born wrong. I don't know what's wrong with that thing. If my horse is willing to confess, then he can be forgiven. All Just right. like anyone. And, and uh, Padre gives everyone a kind of like knowing look. <laughs> yeah. I, I imagine it. Valeria returns that uh, without <laughs> flinching. <laughs> so you guys get off your horses. You set up camp uh, yeah. with your backs to this, to this rocky outcropping. Mm -hmm. Now... What is the watch schedule going to be? Uh, I mean, I can just keep watch because I don't really need sleep that much. So. But isn't it that you just die whenever you do need sleep? Wouldn't that be bad if that happened? Yeah, I guess so. But like, I don't think that's happened for a while. I should be all right. That doesn't feel very good. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm pretty good. I'm all I'll right. Take, I'm confident. I'll take first watch. You, you can stay up with me if you need to. Why don't, can't you just, uh, you know, Go to death and then wake up. For I don't know what don't the term like, phrase is. Don't say it like that. Seems most accurate. You I apologize. Still call it sleep. I'm still sleeping. All right, so you sleep like the dead. Ugh. Yeah. Let me go do that. <sighs> All right. You're staying up, Aces. Mm-hmm. Might be that I'll take uh, first watch with Aces. Uh, fella's got a tendency to wander if left to his own devices for too long. No, it's coming back to him and all, but. Uh, I was told to keep a little bit of an eye on him, make sure he don't bite off more than he can chew. Ain't uh, that right, Aces? He's already like, he's moving. Aces? <laughs> yeah. God damn it. All right, I'll be right back. So eventually Clint does get Aces and brings you back. Uh, you guys set up your cook fire, have a nice quick meal, and then settle down to sleep for the evening. I fall over. And, and in the middle, in the middle of just uh, drink of eating your beans, uh, Clay just pitches backwards off of the log that he's sitting on, and and looks like a corpse, yeah. dead to the world. Dead, just dead, happens out of nowhere. That is downright unsettling. Yeah. Right. Quite interesting, though. Only two hours, though. Someone gonna take these beans off of him, or are we just gonna let him sit? Yeah, I mean, the beans are actually a, an improvement on the smell. It is. You can have them for later. I won't argue with you there. Well, it would be a, it would be a sin to waste beans. <laughs> I don't even know right. Why he's eating those beans? But. Um. So you're you're out for two hours? Yeah, two hours. Actually. Okay. So everyone else, you guys bed down to sleep. Uh, Clint and Ace's uh, set up watch. Now, your backs are to a rocky outcropping, so you got eye on the trail and eye on the opposite ridge, but mm -hmm. no, no eyes on anything behind the boulders. So, uh, how you want to do this, Ace? Well, I want one of us just keep walking around in circles, or should I take my, myself on the back side of these rocks and you take the front? The front is the one that's facing the campfire? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, I can go around the back side, that's fine, fine with me. You know, I'd don't want you to uh, chill your old bones. Hey, there's still a lot of heat left in these bones. What? <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to go around the back. <laughs> all right. You, uh, all right. Sounds fair. All right. So you go around back, and uh, Clint just kind of sets up in, in front of all the sleeping posse members over by the fire, just stares off into the distance. So a couple hours pass, and at that point, you... Oh. Jolt back to life. So I finished these beans. Not at all covered in beans. Your beans are gone. Oh, what? Where are my beans gone? <laughs> but it's I'll honestly, kill you all! Honestly, it's, <laughs> it's fine. You don't even really get anything right. from eating That's beans true. except, uh, you know, a reminder of what, just, it was, yeah. what it was like to eat beans I with like your friends. I like feeling human sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> God, Not tonight, though. <laughs> oh, you're awake. Yeah, what I miss? A whole lot of nothing. That's good. Nothing's good. Well, uh, maybe you want to join Aces on the other side of that rock there. Make sure he ain't uh, already wandered off into the pit blackness. All right, I'll go check on him. And you walk around, and uh, Aces, what are you doing on the other side of the rocks? He's probably, uh, no, he's definitely uh, about just a shade uh, into the darkness. And he's standing kind of out with his arms raised, kind of looking at the stars, and then kind of looking around like this. Don't see nothing. I'm gonna turn around, kind of come back. Okay. I'm just gonna walk over while he's doing that and just whistle so he knows I'm coming behind him. Aces. 
Oh, oh, hey. 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 What, you see anything? Uh, yep. What, what'd you There's see? There's a jackrabbit right over there. Yeah. Moon's out. That's right. good. Yep. Uh, see, uh, you know, a whole lot of nothing apart from that. All right, you really aces? Hmm? You really aces? Because, I mean, I heard stories, but... He pulls out a deck of cards. He's like, well, do you want to uh, wager that I'm not? What, what does this signify? <laughs> well, I, do you want to gamble <laughs> on I, me not being aces? But how does this prove that you are aces is what I want If wanna... I win, I'm aces. But, uh, I... If sure. I lose. Yeah, Aces, let's do it. Seems as good a way as any <laughs> yeah. to pass the time. You still got a couple hours before you wake up Valeria and the Padre. Yeah, that's fine. I was going to see if you wanted to sleep, but this is a lot more fun. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. All right, so you, you sit down and uh, busy yourselves with, yeah. a, with a game of cards. Yeah. As you're doing that, both of you give me a notice roll. Now let's do this at a minus two since the night is dark mm -hmm. and you're on the other side of the, of the rocks from the campfire. Okey dokey. Thank, thank you to all of you for not finishing my sentence with and full of terror. Oh, yes. I was thinking it. I know you were. I know you were, but you didn't say it out loud. And so for that, I'd like to give you a Benny. <laughs> Yay! Because uh, honest, honestly, no, not all of you. Mostly, we were mostly just the Padre, because he was, he, you were all thinking it, but he was the one most likely to say it out loud. I, I, I literally was sitting there being like, <laughs> I can feel it. Uh, five. Wow. Five, that's yep. with the minus two. Oh. And don't forget your fatigue. Oh, right. Uh, I got a three, so I'm going to Benny. Yeah. I'm going to Benny? Or fate uh, we're, chip we're it, as both, the case may be. We're both fate chippings? Nothing. I still got a five. Uh, four. Four? What? It's minus three, though. But I have a plus two to my notice. <gasps> you are aces. <laughs> so what did you get? I got a three. A three. Uh, and you got a four. Yeah. So as you're sitting there dealing a few hands, Aces, you, you just hear the wind just every now and then just sort of gust past your little camp. Thank you. Um, but every now and then, the wind seems to carry with it what sounds like whispers. So briefly that you can't even tell sometimes, but once or twice as the wind just breezes by, it feels like you can pick out words. And it sounds something like, traveling south, interfering. Or maybe it's just the wind. Awfully specific for wind. Uh, <laughs> what? I, did you hear that? The what? Wind, just kind of talking, I don't know. Seems like I hear things. Anyway, I think this pot is mine. What? No, we didn't. I didn't fold yet. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm uh, pretty Traveling sure you're going to lose south. this one. Okay. Traveling south. Traveling south. Okay. You don't hear that? It seems like it's coming from the other side of the rocks, back where your posse members I mean, are sleeping. It's kind of windy. I don't hear nothing. You are now hearing this oh, as well. Oh, yeah, I hear it. Hold on. And he, t he takes the pot and Wait, puts it okay, back and then gets up and walks that. around. It, does, it just sounds like the wind, but it does yeah. sound like words as well. It yeah. is very unsettling. And it's coming from around the... The, the, the other the, side of the rocks. Yeah. All right. All right. Come on. Follow me. All right. I'll, I'll pull my gun and start walking with you. You pulling your gun? Yeah. I pull both guns. Pulling both Gatling yeah. pistols. Yes. Oof. All right. And are you guys just charging around, or what are you doing? Uh, I am... Uh, uh, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna be a little stealthy around the corner. I'm yeah. gonna try I'm gonna try and yeah. I don't want to wake anybody up. You guys but I am impulsive. Taking so. the same track around or are you splitting up to I'll, go I'll around go the both other sides? way. Yeah. I'll go the other way. Give me stealth rolls. Okie dokie. I'm terrible at this. Yep, I was right. I was terrible. That's a four. Four? Yeah. Uh, okay. But I'm a Texas Ranger. Alright. I wanna use a fake chip. I did it. I you got a five. Did it. All right. So you all, you crouch down with your guns out and split up with a knowing look at each other around either side of the rocky outcropping. And you, you move over. And at first, it takes a little bit for your eyes to adjust to the, the firelight, being as far away from it as you have been and just adjusting to the stars. But as you look, you see Valeria asleep. You see the Padre asleep right where you left him. And you see Clint and it looks like he might have nodded off just a little bit on his rock. His shoulders are slumped, and he's, he's looking down. 
The other thing you see is what looks like two black, smoky carpets, almost, with clawed hands extended, just crawling across the ground over towards the sleeping Valeria and Padre. And in both, both of them have in one of their outstretched hands what looks like a, hang's man, a hangman's noose. Ooh. And you hear the whispers coming from, their, from inside of the darkness of their hoods, traveling south, traveling Ooh. south. They're both just repeating that over and over again. And they are almost at Valeria and the Padre as they sleep and reaching out the nooses to wrap them around their necks. I need guts rolls from both of you at a minus five. Guts. So well, we add our grit. Add your grit, but you're gonna subtract five. Don't I get more grit because I'm hair or is it already prior? It's already in there. Great. What, cool. what is my grit because it's not on this sheet? Uh, oh. Your grit is a three. Okay. You're on the uh, and I do have guts, great. I do have guts. Oh, give me guts. We never got. We never gave him guts. Okay. We didn't give you guts. No. Oh no, aces. You have no you guts. Lost, you lost all of your guts. <laughs> so that's a d4 minus two. So that's a minus. Don't forget your uh, fatigue. Seriously, right. you minus don't have any six all together. Cool. Have a question. Or no, uh, eight. Do, do uh, things that affect fear tests affect like guts tests? Yes. Guts rolls. Aces. Right. Yeah. Yes. You aced it. Aces. Whoa. Six minus eight. Yeah. That's a negative oh. two. <laughs> negative two. Six minus eight. All right. So aces. <laughs> <laughs> At one point, you might have been ready to deal with these sorts of horrors, but right now, you just feel this wave of cold fear emanating from these things as they reach out to wrap their nooses around the necks of your sleeping posse members, and you just feel it like icy spikes in your stomach driving in and threatening to overwhelm your mind. I'm going to need a d20 roll from oh, you. Oh, no! 18. Uh, oh. 18. Is higher better? I don't remember. Uh, and this is going to be with a uh, with two added to it because <gasps> these things are. That's a twenty. Yeah. What's yeah. Two? Uh, that is the mark of fear. Are, are we allowed to use shango bucks to interfere and allow reroll? Oh, I I don't Whoa. know. Is that is that is that something that uh, we're doing here at Chupacabra Con? Uh, yeah. Oh, then absolutely, yeah. I would say absolutely yeah. you can. <laughs> a reroll. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. I like that. Two for Dom and one for everyone else. Yeah! Oh, all right, thank you very much. Thank all right, you. so a ti timely, uh, uh, in, in, I won't say interference, I'll say yeah. intervention <laughs> uh, from the mysterious stranger out yeah. here in the yeah. crowd. Thank all you. right, so uh, you can re roll that. Okay, then. let's. And we'll let you keep the better of the two. Although it seems like it'd be hard to roll oh, five. Wait. Plus two. Plus two is a seven. That is significantly better. Yeah. So thank, thank you. Uh, thank you. You feel you feel cold fear steal uh, across your body and and rob you of your momentum. You are shaken. Okay. Uh, but you are not uh, in any other way affected. So thank you very much Great. for that. Um, you <laughs> make it through. Yes. Right. And you see so. what's going on, and you have mere moments to stop this. All right. I I see. Uh, probably Ace is kind of freeze up at this point. I'm yes. Ah like, oh, hell. It's gonna be a hell of a wake up call. So I'm just gonna fan the hammer at uh -huh. both of them. Well, you're gonna fan the hammer at both of the figures? Yeah. No, at them. At us. Oh, okay. Just yeah. put sorry. Them All right. <laughs> Go so bad, I'm sorry. Uh, they did not know that, I'm, I'm gonna say the judges were not aware of your approach, so uh, take your shots. You're gonna fan the hammer. All right. Three fan on each? Hammer. Yeah, three on each. Okay. So uh, my shooting is a D10. I'm pretty good at shooting. Sorry, people. I was gonna do the same thing, just not fanning the hammer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, let's get those shots. You got uh, six going. All right, I gotta do this six times. Yep. So I'll remember these. Uh, Ooh, ace and a nine. So, good start. So that's a nine. Yeah, and with your, uh, with your improved hip shooting, you get no penalty to fanning the hammer here. Great, so that's a hit with a raise. Hit do with you, a raise. Do you do damage now or do it at the end? Uh, do damage. Great. Uh, damage for this is 2d6 plus one, yep. so I will need one more d6. I'll borrow this. Uh, and meanwhile, you both hear sudden shots ringing out. Uh, just six rapid shots in succession from very close by, which brings you jolting awake and Clint as well. So 11 for that uh, shot. 11, 11 damage. damage? Okay. Yeah. Uh, next next shot. shot. That's one shot down. <sighs> Hold so, on, don't you want to see what happens with that, oh, uh, yeah, with I that first shot? I didn't, Ooh. yeah. All right, uh, 11 damage, right? Yes. Pretty good shot. Yeah. Right, right through the body of this thing. And you are a lawman, mm -hmm. and these are your bullets. But as your shot goes streaking towards it, you see just a brief flare of what looks like luminous purple flame just shoot up, and as your bullet gets near the thing's body, the bullet just disintegrates into the air. Uh-oh. But you've already committed to unloading I on this did. thing, so keep going. I'm gonna keep going. I'm okay. gonna let you know, though, just to save some time, all of your shots hit home, yes. and all of your bullets are annihilated by this purple flame. <gasps> no! Less good. You have a cult, right? 
I do. Give me an occult roll real okay. quick before everyone wakes see, up. See why I got sh shaken? <laughs> yeah, that's why. Yeah. Just save some ammo. Yep. <laughs> uh, uh, I got a four. Am I saying anything? Uh, no. Nope. Okay, yeah, four. Oh boy, Clay. That is not supposed to happen. Uh, oh. Something is off here in a big way. You two jolt awake <laughs> and see uh, over your faces what looks like a hangman's noose being lowered onto your head. Uh, and this green scabrous clawed hand attached to it, reaching down, and you hear fetid whispers in your ears, traveling south, traveling south, unabated by the shots from Clay's, uh, from Clay's revolvers. And at this point, I'm gonna say we are in a combat. Yeah, oh sense. boy. All right, so anybody who's got anything that's going to uh, affect your initiative, let me know. If not, Padre? I uh, do. Not an initiative. Jack uh, of clubs. Taking it. Valeria? I have hesitant, so I take the worst of two action cards. Okay. Oh, no. But then I also have high roller. You get those two. So oh, no. you're going to take the One three of spades. Card. Wait, no, sorry, not high roller. Calculating. If action card is five or less, ignore up to two penalty points. That's pretty That's good. Great. So you so, have to keep the three, but you are yeah. going to get a bonus for doing that. Okay, I got level headed, so I get best. You get improved level headed. Oh, right. Would you like the king, Ooh, the queen, oh, or the eight? I'll take a king. That sounds good. And then uh, aces. Give me a card. You got it. <laughs> oh, a three. Club. I was hoping it would be an ace. And then oh, uh, for the judges. Oh, there it is. One shot. Sure. An oh. ace of spades. Oh, no, they go ahead of me. And I'm going to go ahead and deal them out some fate chips oh. since they are wild cards. All right. Hmm. Um, so those shots ring out in the night, and everyone is. What's up? Can you see this book? Yeah. That's the Marshall's book, though. Do you need the player's guy? Yes, sorry. All right. There's that one. Uh, I guess I should deal Clint in as well, right? He's here too. Oh, yeah. Clint gets a jack of hearts. Wake up. All right, so Clint also jolts awake as this is happening and just takes a look around and sees uh, what's going on and then just stares and freezes looking out towards the trail. And anyone who follows his gaze sees a third uh -oh. black-robed figure oh. just standing in the middle of the, of the plane out in front of you, just staring and waiting with its hands on two... Uh, guns at its hips. Whoa. Where were they in the initiative order? Uh, where are they? Yeah. First. They're ace. Great. Now at this point, <laughs> if any of you want to spend, if any of you want to spend oh, yeah. a fate chip to redraw, you can, although it's going to be hard as hell. You're going to need to get a joker. If They're I redraw, ace of spades. Oh. If I redraw, do I get level headed again? I think it's just the one card. Just yeah. the one card? Yeah. Okay. I, I'm not going to. Jack I'm is still too. pretty good. Even. Yeah. It's going to be hard to beat. Looks like we got company. All right, I'm going to need a guts roll from you two as well. All right. First things first. Oh, right. So guts minus five. Uh, I'm really good we'll at We'll do it for Clint. That's good. Oh, yeah, do it for Clint. Uh, hey. Clint aced it. Eight minus five, but his grit is three. So he's good. He's good. He keeps his stuff together. What, what is my grit? Is Your grit it? is also three. Okay, so grit three. And then Brave would affect this. It would yes, give the plus absolutely. Two. But not strong will, because this is no nope. test, like against them. Okay. I need a guts roll from you, Valeria. Okay. Six. You got a six? I got an 11 all day. An 11, all right. And, and don't then, forget, you do have some, uh, some kindly rerolls that were made available five, right? to you. Ooh, yeah. yeah, minus five. Okay, so six okay. is my total. Any, any uh, negatives to the guts roll? Minus five. Minus five. Uh, okay, so that's But plus three there, so. Two, so that puts me at a four. A four, all right, so you keep it together. Everyone is good except for aces. You are shaken, mm -hmm. um, but let's. Oh, wait, do we still have fatigue? Yeah. Yep. Oh, no. Oh. You narked yourself. Nice. I did nark did. myself. Uh, okay, I'll re I'm so use that reroll. Oh, you got, yeah, yeah you got one. <laughs> that's way worse. Uh, you want to spend a uh, fate chip? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. That's, That's not good, good, Valeria. That's not good. All right, give me a d20 roll. Uh oh. And Join add, me. And add two to it. Uh, ten. Uh oh, you're panicked. Oh, good. So you you see this noose lowering over your head. You see that the hand lowering to put it around your neck, and fear just steals through your body. You have to get away from here. You are shaken, and you have to flee. All right. Sweet. They, they stand up as, uh, as this happens, as the shots ring out. The, the judges don't so much stand to their feet as they just rise up. And they pull out their guns that are tipped with scythes on the end of them. They look like they could do some wicked Ow. damage to you as well. And they just turn to you, Clay. Oh, hell. And they're both going to fire at you. <laughs> All right. All right. Don't worry. They're not too, too good at shooting. Okay. 
That's a D12. Oh, but that is a crit <laughs> failure yes! from the first judge. Woo! And that cannot be. So as, as he goes to do that, he fires a shot, and the other one fires a shot at the same time, the exact same time. And something about their angles just makes their bullets meet midair and merge into one solid chunk of leg that drops to the ground inches in front of your face. Well, that's a freebie. This is that one's second shot. That is a four. So that is definitely going to hit. Yeah, I don't got anything that, yeah, I think it will. Uh, uh, uh -oh. That's ace on the damage there. That's 11, 14 damage. My toughness is eight. Okay, so that's gonna be a, a hit with a raise. Yeah, so I will soak. I guess I should probably soak, because wounds are bad. Wouldn't be the worst thing to do right now. Wounds bad. I have a question. Yes. On my calculating, I ignore up to two penalty points on what? On the, on the action that you take. On the action, okay. Yep. Uh, that's Vigor, right? Yep. Okay. I got a five. A five? So I should be good. You soak it. Yes. And you do not take the wound, nor do you take the shaken effect. Uh, the bullet tears through your shoulder, ah. and a little bit of rotten meat goes with Ew. it, but you can barely feel it at this point. Didn't need that. Practiced as you are at being harrowed. Nothing a little raw pigeon can't fix up really oh, quickly. Uh, the other one takes gross. a shot, and because we said that crit failure from the first one merged one of his bullets with it, I'm just going to give him the one shot. Narratively speaking, that's what makes sense, but don't worry, he hit you with a race. <laughs> Hooray. Oh, goody. So that's gonna be cool. 3d6. That's what you wanted, right? Not the worst thing, that's an 11. So that is uh, eight, just so hit. just a hit. Just a so hit, just you would be shaken. You okay. wanna take it? I don't have any more uh, That's true, so you pretty so much have to. Gotta take it. Uh, you are shaken. Gotta take it. Then the one who is standing out in the, in the darkness just starts advancing towards Clint, almost gliding across the ground. And this one is whispering something different. They have not ceased their whispering the entire time. Traveling south, traveling south. But this one that is moving in just looks at Clint and looks at all of you and just keeps whispering, interfering. And they're moving in on you. This one is just making, he's closing the gap and pulls his pistols out and looks like he's preparing to move into melee distance with Clint. That is their turn. Uh, Clay, yeah. at this point it might do to let the rest of your posse mates know what just happened. Your bullets had absolutely no effect on them. Yeah, it is my turn, but I'll unshake in a second. But yeah, uh, I, I, my bullets did jack squat, and I got a badge on my, on my chest here, so it's something else, we gotta do something else. Do I, do I know anything about, like, because uh, I've, I've hunted abominations and like creatures yeah. like that before. You know to listen to a Texas Ranger when he tells you that the way to take this thing down is not working. Listen up, okay. Preacher, listen up, we fucked. All right, we done. <laughs> we good. We gotta go. All right, uh, so you're gonna unshake? So, yes, I gotta unshake. That's spirit? Uh, yeah. Speed. So if at any point you guys decide that you wanna run, just let me know. Okay. I'm just saying, I'm what throwing that out there. Run? Uh, just as an option. Remember that time we died, we didn't run? Uh-huh, I do remember that time you died when you didn't run. Uh, I got a four, and then, yeah, that's good. All right, you unshake? But yeah. Uh, great, so I take my turn as usual. Yep. Okay. Uh, how close are they to me, the two that were next to them? Uh, pretty close. You're just on the other side of the rocks. They had their backs to them. I mean, they're within, uh, you know, striking distance for you. Okay, here's what I want to try. I want a ghost. Okay. So first action with a spirit roll to become incorporeal. All right, so make a spirit roll for me. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, no, that's a failure. Can I use one of those rerolls? Do we still have more? You yeah. do. You We've still have. You still have one. There was one for each of you. I'm yeah. gonna use it. One for the each of you. This is silly. All right. This should work. It does. I got a uh, six. A six. Okay. So you just kind of go translucent and fade out. You look like you're half in one yeah. place and half in another. I feel like the only thing you could see of him uh, when you look hard enough is that bullet that's still inside of him. Then when he got shot in the Ooh, back, so yeah. just floating. Ooh, nice. Yeah, cool. So, and then I start advancing towards those two, and I just want to take a punch at one of them, just to see if it even does anything, if I can meet him in this realm instead of the physical realm. Okay, so. all right. So you start walking up towards one of them. Yeah. Uh, that is still, it's the one standing next to the I guess I with the butt of my gun. Facing you, all yeah. right. And you, so. you spin your gun around and grab it by the... Uh, yeah. Barrel. Barrel, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, and you just whip the butt of it into yeah. this thing's head and it passes right through it. Shit. And uh, the, judge, the judge just sort of watches the arc of your, of your revolver go past its head and then looks back up at you and says, traveling south. Yeah. And flips its guns around to hold them with the scythes out. Ooh, good. All right, that didn't work. All right, I'm out Hand of ideas. 
All right, next up, I believe it is you, Padre. Oh, no. You got me beat. It is Clint. You got me beat. Damn it. All right, I'm awake. I'm awake. All right. Uh, you have a cigarette in your mouth when you woke up? <laughs> he had it in his mouth when he fell asleep. Yeah. Uh, Clint pulls the shotgun the off of his lap. It and just pulls it up and just opens fire on the wait, judge wait, that can, is... If, if I see him pulling the shotgun out, can I yell for him to, like, just wait for a moment? You could try. I, I, I want to yell, uh, wait, Clint, I, I might be able to help. All right, goddammit, Padre, if you're going to help, you better do it quick, because this thing's getting mighty close. She'll go on hold. Okay. Um, I want to... So, okay. Uh, uh, Padre Ernesto de Diaz... Uh, then just kind of uh, goes down and pray, like grabs the cross that he carries around his neck for a moment and goes into prayer and is like, yea, though I walk through the valley of sh the shadow of death. And uh, I want to cast Smite on his shotgun. One problem with that. Yeah. You're going to have to touch his shotgun to do that. I don't. It has a range of smarts. Oh, right. That's different now. All yes, right. Great. I just looked it up. Great. <laughs> okay. And actually, well, uh, okay, actually, I'm not going to quite do that. You have a weapon, right? I'm a ghost. But you have a weapon. Yeah, but isn't the is weapon the a weapon? Do you have a weapon Wait, or not? Is the weapon he a does ghost? have a weapon. I have several Hang weapons. On. Is there a rule that you can't cast things on ghost that is weapons? That's interesting. Uh, well, so you can cast it on his ghosted weapon, but his weapon, even, even with smite cast on it, is not going to be able to interfere with anything corporeal at this point. Fine. He can come uncorporeal eventually, right? right? Yeah, I but can... not yet. I can do it at the start of my okay. Also, you just <laughs> yelled at Clint to wait <laughs> while this thing starts coming towards him. <laughs> it's wait, a so... of five. But I, I can expend the number of weapons it affects. Oh, you're oh. spreading it out. I see. You're yeah, not just you're not great. just hanging out to dry. Okay, <laughs> he's got a weapon then. Yeah, I've yeah. got two pistols. You've got two. You've got two pistols. You've got two. You you, you use double, right? Yes. Yep. Should I just go for broke and yes. like smite on everyone's Spend weapons? Spend every power point you yes, have. Yes, do yeah. it. So okay, cool. I'm going to cast smite on my shotgun on his. Okay. On both of your weapons and both of your weapons. Woo. So, which will cost, and that's one weapon and five extra. Okay. Which will cost me six power points. All right. Which uh, could just be total failure if I fail this roll. Well, make the roll then. Don't Let's fail Give it. us a faith roll, Padre. Yeah. I believe in you. That's faith. I believe okay. in God. He, he just prays, and, and his, I like, believe. you kind of feel like a holy light start to glow in all of the different weapons. But let's find out if they're good. Ooh. Uh, so that is a five. Don't forget your fatigue. Uh, that's a four. Ah, but a four is still a success. It is, and I'm also going to ace, use though. a reroll because an ace would be sweet. Okay, all right, so or you're going to reroll it. Sorry, that's what I Just don't get a crit fail. Oh, yeah, don't forget about that. <gasps> uh, I aced it. on the he six. Ace it. He aced it. Come on, come on, come on. So that's an eight. Which is eight. Darn it. Oh, oh that's one. a seven with oh. your fatigue. Mm. Stop being so fatigued. Mm -hmm. Double or nothing? Sleep better. Yeah, double Wait, or nothing. Don't you have a red oh, add a blue? You also have a red add a, a D6. I don't. I, don't, I Do just have whites. Oh, you only have whites? Sorry. I, I have nothing but whites. I, I got nothing but whites. Um, Should I use your reroll? No, I, I have the reroll that I was given. Can we only use. No, we can use multiple. I'll use a Benny. I got a Benny. All right, he's got Benny. He's, he's going to save his reroll. That's fine. Just a Benny. His kindly gifted reroll. All right, I got a nine. A nine minus Boom. one, which is what I did. needed. So there is light, sourceless light that springs up in front of all of these men, illuminating their faces from beneath as something happens to their weapons that isn't completely visible to the naked eye, and they all feel just strength surging through the, uh, the implements of death that they wield, mm -hmm. along with yourself. A, a, a little, like, uh, string of light kind of, like, runs along the barrels of each of the weapons for a moment. Nice. Ooh. And then right. it kind of goes away. Uh, so, Clint's turn now? Yeah. Thanks kindly, Padre. And he opens fire on uh, the judge advancing on him. So that is going to be a shotgun blast. Kablango. He got a four, which is enough to hit. So it is uh, plus four to damage with it the raise? It is plus is four right? to damage. Ooh. All right, so that is going to be 3d6 plus four. Uh, so that is... Eight damage plus four, that's 12 damage. So he just blasts off and this buckshot just illuminated like fireflies, flies through the darkness and strikes this thing in its body. But right before it makes contact with it again, that purple oh, flame no! flares to life and incinerates no. all of the bullets. Oh. Well, shit, that ain't good. <laughs> uh, Clint gets up and starts backing away and then realizes he's backing towards other judges. He's like, uh, I, I don't think this is a good place for us to remain, everybody. All right, that's Clint. 
Hand in your card, Padre. Yep. Next up, it looks like it is going to be Valeria Batten. I knew there's a pretty good chance that would happen, but it still seemed cool so it's still to, super dope, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. To smite on everyone's weapon. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, Valeria's panicked. Yes. Oh, so right. first you have to unshake. Okay, that's uh, what, Vigor, right? Uh, that is Spirit. 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 I never remember the order. It doesn't matter. Same thing. I ace it. All right, so you, you managed to get your bearings, but not before your feet have carried you as far away from this as they possibly can. So you're trying to get away from all of these things, so I imagine you're going to run out behind the rocks. Okay. So and luckily, the hanging judge next to you is uh, distracted with Elijah Clay, uh, who is ghosted currently. So it does not strike at you as you run past it. Okay, how far away am I now? As you, give me a run roll. <laughs> that far. <laughs> A five? Yeah. Pretty far. You, uh, you take off just past the rocks, running out into the, into the open <laughs> land. And as you do, you suddenly come back to yourself. You snap back. You hear, uh, you, you feel the surge of, of holy energy from behind you that uh, the Padre has brought to bear. You hear the blast of a shotgun, and you hear Clint crying out, Well, shit, that ain't working. Um, you are getting a very bad feeling about everything that's going on here, Valeria. Although, have you seen any of the purple flame? I haven't. Uh, I don't that's, think so, at least. Well, that sucks. So, mm. 20... I have a, a range of 20 on my soul blast. Okay. Could I hit from here? Yeah, you could hit from here. Wait, you've not oh, seen wait, wait, no, no, because this is all you can do on this turn, is flee, because okay. you're panicked. Should she not see the, the shotgun blast go off with the purple? No, she she might. You know what? Give me a notice roll. Okay. Give me a notice fair. roll. Just to see if you happen to see that as you're running away. Guess what? You aced it. <laughs> <laughs> Which shows that that die is loaded. It's yeah. not loaded. Yeah. I mean, it's loaded. loaded. It loaded just likes it, yeah. you. Uh, that's a ten, uh, a nine, I guess, with my, because that's a vision. Okay. Nice. All right. So as you're running, you you cast a quick look back, just in time to see Clint fire his empowered shotgun off at these things, and see the purple flame flare to life around and just destroy the bullets before they even make contact. This is sorcery of some kind. So I this is that. dark sorcery. This is old sorcery. This is not good news. Okay, but do uh, the, you don't recognize it? I don't, and no. I don't know how to handle it. No. Okay. No, this is this is outside of your ken. Uh, so I can't do anything else. Nope, right? that's it for your turn. Just fleeing, pew, but pew, you pew, are pew. unshaken, so I'll take that. All right, aces. Oh, All right, gonna try and unshake. All right. Come on, aces. You got this. Yeah, you do. Uh, minus one. Yeah, five. You got it. You unshake. All right. What are you gonna Sweet. do? Um, uh, I'm gonna run for my horse. And I'm gonna tell everyone, get to your goddamn horses now, and let's get the hell out of here. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna don't say that phrase. What? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> the Padre shouts as he's deciding what to do. All right, so you're running for your horse. Yeah. All right, hand in your card. Uh, does everyone? Does that sound like a good idea to everyone else? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. In that case, we're gonna run this as a quick encounter. Oh, okay. okay. So here's what I want you guys to do. I want you to let me know what you are doing to either get away from the hanging judges or to help your compatriots get away from the hanging judges or distract the judges in some way. You are each going to make a roll based on what it is that you're trying to do. And at the end of this, we're gonna see how it all worked out. Okay. So I really ideally need a success from at least three of you on this. Or sorry, at least four of you, but we're gonna count Clint. Okay. 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 Easy peasy. Um, if you fail, this is a dangerous situation, so We're there's gonna be some dead. consequences. All right, so you can act in any order in a, quick, in a quick encounter, and you guys are trying to get away from these hanging judges and flee as fast as you can. So at any point, let me know what you guys wanna do. Where is my uh, horse in relation to where I am? Where did you guys tie up your horses? If probably you're by these, near the rocks. Probably near the rocks, right? Yeah, so yeah. you're going to have to run back to grab your horse. Sweet. So that's, I imagine what you're going to need to do is run back, get on your horse, and spur it out. So that makes your yeah. decision pretty quick. Do you have the riding skill? Uh, no. You're probably going to wish that you did. <laughs> um, I didn't build this character, so. Oh, all oh, right. Well, that's my fault. You're then. probably going to wish you did. All right. Hey, I also um, noticed I don't, I have fighting but not shooting, and I have a shotgun. Should I just flip? Those? No, shotguns are for people who can't shoot. Yeah. Okay. Great. Shotguns are easy to shoot for people that don't have shooting. No. I don't know why I'm fighting. I'm a pacifist. A minor, minor pacifist. pacifist. Yeah, but 
You too. fight when you sometimes you fight the supernatural. We talked about this. Sometimes you gotta punch your Padre, horse. what are you gonna do? What's everyone doing? You're you're I'm, heading I, out? I wanna I wanna try and get my horse and like lay suppressing fire, basically. Lay suppressing fire. Alright, so you wanna just kind of like just fire these holy empowered shots at the judges mm -hmm. to try and and keep them at bay or at yeah. least distracted yeah. so everyone else can get away. Yeah. That sounds like a good first move to me. Everyone yeah. cool with that? Don't sure. hit me. Alright, so give me a shooting roll. Alright, and now this is from horseback. Okay. So this is going to be a minus shooting two. roll at a minus two and your fatigue. Let's do so a minus form. three. Minus three. But However, it's you also... do have rock and roll. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say, even though you're on horseback, you yourself are going to be able to brace yourself I on, on the back of this horse. So I'm not going to have you make the, uh, the, uh, Rick's you be, you know what I'm trying to say. I'm just going to use one <laughs> pistol too. I'm you're not, just using one pistol? I'm not two gunning it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. Yeah, with a Gatling pistol, you only need one to suppress, I feel like. Yeah, but I got to. I could do that. Well, I know, but... <laughs> so your Gatling pistol starts to spin in yeah. the night, and bright white tracing rounds shoot out of it towards these things. Uh, let's see, that's a... Keep the best two. Yeah, that's a seven and a five minus three. Three. So, so that is one shot. One shot makes it. Which is one success. Yep. Woo! All right, so... So uh, Aces is out there on his horse, strafing the campsite, laying down suppressing fire with his Gatling pistol. All right, and that is, that is a success there, Aces. So you do manage to fire off a few shots that strike these judges, and even though the bullets get annihilated right before they hit them, the, the pure like, speed and rate at which you are firing these things at them makes them just sort of start to like, stagger back. They're not being hit, but they are being driven off somewhat by the onslaught of your bullets, so that is going to definitely help give these guys a little bit of an opening to get away. Who's next? Uh, I, 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 what I want to do is try to get to my horse, this is sort of similarly, try to get to my horse and then maybe use stun to see if I can just like deter them a bit. Okay, um, so you're gonna get to your horse. I will say you can run up to your horse, you can use stun but you're not gonna be able to mount and ride off on this turn. And, and to be clear, she's less worried about everyone else and more worried about herself. So sure. She's only using stun to keep them away from her. Okay. Just, you know. So are you just casting stun on the one that's closest to you then? Well, stun is a, uh, yes. Uh, stun does not work that way. <laughs> stun, is in, stun is in suede now. Well. Well, is that what you were looking up in the book? Yes. I wish you had told me. I'm sorry. Well, that was um, the only one. I mean, I was looking at the other ones that aren't in suede. Yeah, I have so. I have stun here, suede. too. You do? Thank you. Mm -hmm. So stun no longer is a first? No, stun is actually really good now. You're going to like okay. it. We'll come back to you. Take a look at stun. Uh, who else wants to go next? I'll go. All right, Clay, what are you doing? Uh, so I'm ghosted in a, sort of in a knife fight with uh, this uh, judge in front of me. Kind of in a knife fight. It looks he, like you brought they, a ghost to a knife fight. Yeah, though, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> uh, so I'm going to use fighting to basically just kind of like dodge away and then like ghost through them and just continue to my horse. Okay, so you're going you're to dodge the wicked looking scythes yeah. on the end of this thing's guns yes. and then just blow right through it. Yes. Whew, all right. Give me fighting. Okay. Uh, and this is going to be, uh, let's see, you don't have any fatigue, um, nope. but this thing is pretty, these, these guys are pretty adept fighters, so I'm going to sure. make you do this at a minus two. Okay, sounds good. I have a D10 fighting, so I should be okay. Ooh, oh, a oh, one oh. and an ace, Ooh, that was real, real close. Uh, so I got a 10, minus two. All right. That's your six. That's an eight. That's a success with a raise. Yes. All right. So um, you manage to just, this thing just starts to swipe at you. And you use your, your years of honed instincts to stay ahead of its, of its blows. Yeah. And as soon as you see an opening, it looks like it brings its two guns out, like it's going to try and come and just scissor them in to cut your head off. Mm -hmm. You see it bring its arms out, and you just move right through it. Yep. And instantly, it's like jumping into Arctic water. Ooh. You just feel this cold, and it's like you're moving through molasses. You feel yourself being stuck inside of this thing, and you feel something pulling at you, like it's trying to keep you inside or absorb you in some way, bizarrely, but you manage through sheer force of will to just blow out the back of this thing. Oof. And it staggers forward as you do, and you just drift off, heading right for your horse and rematerializing as you jump onto the back of it. All right, let's never do That's that That's a again. success with a raise. That's pretty great. Cool. All right, you ready, Valeria? Yeah, similarly, I, want to, I can use stun uh, for medium blast okay. uh, if I add two points to it. Okay. So using four power points, uh, I will do that for wh whatever's closest to me, basically. Okay, However I mean, I can there get. are the two by the fire that are close enough for you to try and stun. Yes, I will do that then. Okay. So, uh, yeah. I'm so that sounds like it's going to be a spell casting roll. It is a spell casting And I'm roll. also going to make you do this at a minus two. On so minus three fatigue. with your fatigue. 
Well, yeah, he's still. Well, that's pretty hey, good. That might die is so low. 15 minus No, this time it was on our D10. Oh, well. So 15 minus 3, that's that 12. Just a success with loaded. two raises. No biggie. Go. Yeah. So they must make a vigor roll at a minus 2. OK. Vigor at a minus 2. Mm -hmm. No problem. No problem at all. Wow, that's a lot of dice. Oh my god. Uh, okay, well, one of them aced on a d12. Whoa. I thought that was for one ghost. Oh man. 17 minus 2 is a 15. What did you get? Not that much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so one of them, one of them, even sure? as the purple flame starts to crackle up, it doesn't appear that it's affecting your magic in the same way. Not this specific spell. Something about this doesn't seem to interfere with it in the same way. And one of the is just driven down to its knees. Um, but you can see those flames start to surge even brighter around it as it sticks the scythes of its pistols into the earth and starts to try and lift itself up, just fighting against uh, the, the weight of your magic. Mm -hmm. The other one just kind of crosses its pistols in front of itself, and a huge flare of that purple flame just spreads up and dissipates your spell Ooh. on impact. And now it's looking very closely at you, Valeria. Uh -oh. However, Me. that is a success with a raise. Pretty good roll, so well done there. Um, Padre. Uh, so the Padre is going to, it seems like everyone is handling themselves pretty well. These two are definitely getting out pretty of there. Good. Valeria looks a little stuck, and Clint hasn't gone yet. It looks like he's just kind of like trying to take a look around and see what everybody's doing. Okay, then, then I, I, I'm going to hold my cross up and start uh, muttering the Lord's Prayer in okay. uh, Latin. And doing, uh, I'm going to cast uh, in the name of the Father. Slash protection. Okay. Uh, and I, I will add one PowerPoint to it okay. to also cast it on Valyria. Okay, nice. Which I don't know if that's necessary mechanically, but seems cool. Seems apt. <laughs> All right, so give I me... I like being able to expand these uh, to expand these powers. Give me a faith roll at a minus three. All right. That's with your fatigue factored in. Oh, okay. Wow. Aced it on, Nailed it. Aced on that 12. With the one, you guys are really, really oh riding boy. the line. All right, out. so I roll a 20, which is a 17. Okay, pretty freaking good. All right, so <laughs> this this invisible, like, just, just flare of something just blasts around you for a moment, Valyria, and then dissipates, but you feel this calm, this knowledge that you are in some way being looked out for. You are being aided and protected. The same thing happens to you, Padre, but you're used to this feeling. Yeah. This is something you've called upon many a time. Um, and then you're making a run for your horse? Yes. All right, so you run off for your horse. Clint is going next here, and uh, he sees everyone seems to be uh, doing pretty okay. He has no idea what you just did, Padre, but he sees Valeria back there, uh, and he sees the one that blew off her spell advancing towards her, and he's gonna try and buy you some time to get on your horse. Hey, hey, you ugly hooded son of a bitch, don't you pick on a lady. Why don't you pick on me? And he's gonna try and shoot this thing as well. No, nope, that's not going to be enough. I thought it was. No, nope, he's out of so. negative two. I didn't oh, draw fake chips for him, so I'll just go ahead. These are his? No, those are the no, judges. Yeah. Oh, those are the judges. These are his, so I'll spend one. I'm going to have to re-roll that. Okie dokie. Ace. Ace. He aced it. There we go. Nine minus three is a six. That's a success. He unloads uh, a, both barrels of his shotgun, uh, his holy empowered oh. shotgun, into this thing's back, and it staggers forward and whips whips its head back to stare at him as he just kind of staggers, all right, well, you don't have to focus that much on me, <laughs> and just turns and runs for his horse, but has bought you a second of time to get onto your horse and spur it on into the night. So He's running for my horse, right? What's up? He's running for my horse. Yeah, he's running towards okay. the back of yours. I'll, That's I'll, right. I will say to pick he him up. He doesn't have a I'm, horse. I wasn't going to ride away without him. So you start riding by, and he just yeah. jumps up and latches on and swings totally himself cool. up onto the back. So we Ooh. had success with a raise. Success with a raise. You also got success with a raise. Success, yeah. with, success with a raise. Just, just a success, success, right? OK. So you're going to take another level of fatigue from bumps and bruises just riding out of here. Okay. Um, we'll say that your, uh, your strafing action kind of led your horse down like a little bit of a dangerous rocky path and it stumbled and you almost fell off and were dragged for a little bit on the side of it before you managed to pull yourself back on. So that's okay. your bumps and bruises. And the rest of you managed to make it out unscathed Ooh. as you yeah. ride hell bent for leather down the trail as fast as you can in the darkness. I mean, there is a little bit of the moon and the, and the stars to keep you lit and just outracing these things, riding as hard as you can for as long as you can until you are too exhausted and your horses are too tired to continue Whew. and hoping that you got far enough away. But well done. You managed to get away from a trio of hanging judges on the Ooh. Chisholm Trail, which oh, is no yeah. small accomplishment. Yeah. We did it. Yeah. Falling into me. fitful sleep. Seven out of my 10 PowerPoints. 
Well, don't worry. You're about to recuperate <laughs> some. Hooray! Uh, anyone who still has cards, you can turn those in, by the way. I don't think anyone does. No, no. All right, I'll get rid of these guys' fate chips. So falling into fitful oh, sleep, you guys managed to, uh, Quite fitful. to rest, posting guards, and you make your way down the rest of the Chisholm Trail uh, unmolested. <laughs> seems like, seems like you got far enough away, or at least made these things think twice before messing with you without reinforcements. So eventually, you make your way into the city of Austin, Texas. A kind and gracious host city that we are very near to right now. <laughs> All right, so it's a few days later. Um, I'm gonna say that uh, your levels of fatigue that you got from uh, everything have probably, you've had time to sleep those off. Wonderful. So you can give Excellent. those back in to me, well done. And uh, you are here in Austin. Where is the House of Many Things? I mean, that's a question for the preacher there. Well, I think there's a big round rock somewhere up north. <laughs> Now that's a rumor. That can't be true. Just saying. Rocks are around? <laughs> I don't know about that. Ridiculous. <laughs> Preposterous. Padre, where is his house? <sighs> the specifics I am not sure of, but I right. can ask around. Yeah, it seems like it might do for all of us to ask around if we hope to find it. The network of faith helps each other. All right, well, then you check out the network of faith, and I'll check out the network of... Uh, Getting a drink. I'll check everywhere else. Can I then? use my connections edge to? Your connections edge is with the agency. With the agency. Yes. Okay. Well, it doesn't say that. It should have. <laughs> uh, is there a, a sheriff's office? I'll check there. There absolutely is. Perfect. Uh, and Austin, Texas. Mm -hmm. uh, they are pretty friendly to Texas Rangers here in I Texas. I would so hope you are so. definitely going to get your plus two persuasion bonus to dealing with anyone yes. here. Um, so you're going to check out the uh, the local churches. Yes. You're going to check out the local law. Yes. Clint's going to the the local bottle shop. Yeah. Where are you going, Valeria? Um, I would probably. I don't know. I'm. Miss, if I may impose, would you mind sticking with aces here? It's been so long since I've had a drink, and uh, <laughs> I'd hate to have it interrupted by having to chase him out of some poor lady's home. <laughs> You just Don't get the wrong idea. It ain't anything uh, you know, disgraceful he's getting up to in people's homes. He just has a tendency to uh, want to explore. Ain't that right, Aces? Yeah, I just like seeing things. He just likes seeing things. <laughs> uh, Maybe keep him from seeing anything that uh, he ain't supposed to see. Sure, I'll keep an eye on him, but if he gets away from me and uh, you can't find him, it's not my fault. It's going to sound like a deal. <laughs> I've been here before. Uh, so we're going to... Nope. Aces. <laughs> Aces. Hmm? We're going to try and see what information we can find about town. Great. Let's go to the gambling hall. Why the gambling hall? To gamble? And what... How is that going to help us find information? Gamblers know things. I think it's just that you want to gamble. That too. <laughs> You know what, fine. Let's go to the Gambler's Hall. Maybe I can find some folks to talk to there. All right. Okay. So um, I'm going to say it sounds like you're going to be supporting him on that. Well, my thought process is I was just going to let him gamble, and I was going to wander around and see who I could talk to. <laughs> so after saying you're going to keep an eye on him to Clint, you're like, nope, this guy wants to gamble. That's not my problem. You're the worst <laughs> babysitter. I did my job. In fairness, I'm Valeria is a terrible babysitter. Uh, <laughs> anyone who willingly leaves their babies with Valeria should know what they're getting into. Oh, poison. <laughs> so how are you guys trying to get some information? What skill are you using? Uh, it seems like persuasion yeah. makes the most sense persuasion. for you. You're not going to try and rough up any sheriffs in town. Absolutely not. Uh, probably persuasion Definitely for you as well, Padre. Yeah. Um, persuasion, or are you going to try and lean on uh, some of these gamblers? Gambling. I'm, I'm going to lean on the gamblers. I'm going to, yes. I'm going to maybe, uh, maybe use some taunt. Maybe. Okay, Ooh. all right. So you're going to try and you're going to try and bait people yeah. into revealing some information yeah. as you uh, take their taunt. money. <laughs> you could, uh, you could gamble for information. Huh? Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and then yeah. uh, what are you going to do? Can I'm better at taunting. <laughs> Can you use research? Nice. I'm not a good yeah. gambler. Sure, I'll say you can use research. Okay. Uh, if you if you head into um, the news, the local paper office, mm -hmm. you can probably get a look at uh, some of their back issues and see if there's any uh, indications of new construction outside of town uh, okay. from the past few months or any, anything like that that might give you an idea of the whereabouts. So okay. here's how we're going to do this, just in the interest of time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to have everyone make a roll. Mm -hmm. Whoever makes the highest roll, that is the scene we're going to play out. Okay. Ooh, roll off. Okay, here we go. 
We're, we're rolling the, our skill though, right? Persuasion, right. plus two for you. Great. Persuasion, no bonus for you. Right, but uh, I can re-roll. Research for you and taunt, taunt for you. This uh, would not be considered an occult. No, this Without is research. Without specifically a yes. occult. Yes. Oh, mine's garbage. Oh wait, uh. well. It's still a success, but it's not. Oh wait, you know what? Hold on, before everyone does this. Let me go ahead and award you all. I mean, I feel like surviving three hanging judges is worthy of a fate chip for each of you, right? <laughs> so, Padre? I just triple aced. Whoa! Well, all right, well, maybe you don't need okay. this then. Uh, Valeria? Blue, also means blue, I'm not blue, gonna use blue. it. Blue! Oh, I did red. Clay? Close enough. Now and America. aces rad clip. I got a white. Oh, you got out of America. All right. Um, I get a free re-roll, so I have a seven right now is my highest, but I get a free re-roll because okay. I have Humiliate. Well, there you go. God, Bye, dice. You specifically said. told you not to do that. you got to cover your dice. Yeah, oh, it, mine, it it's an eight. <laughs> it's an eight? You <laughs> aced on a D8? Yeah. It doesn't count on the all right. floor. All right. Well, it fell on the floor, and we're going to count it, only oh. because it aced, but because I'm sure if it yeah. didn't ace, we would have re-rolled that, but <laughs> that's fine. Yep. All right, so what did you, you get? I just got a five. All right, so you talk very respectfully to the local law enforcement, right. and they wish they could help you, Ranger, but they, they ain't got much uh, in the way of aid. Right. Uh, Valeria, what'd you get? I got a five. Okay, so um, it turns out, as you're looking through all the newspaper uh, back issues, that it starts to make more and more sense. The Rangers would probably suppress any information about a, a structure that Hi. they were associated with, so maybe this wasn't the clearest route to get some information. And then uh, Aces and Padre, what you got? I got a 10. A 10. By the grace of God, I got a 20. A 20. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my goodness. I rolled three sixes and a two. All right, so you just end up hurting a lot of people's feelings, yeah. Aces. Uh, well, your fault for playing with me. <laughs> they win your money, but they lose a little bit of dignity. Yeah. That's enough for me. Uh, how can I help you, Father? I don't believe I hide it much, but I am a man of faith. Uh, yes, I, I can tell. Well, I've, I've come here on something of uh, a journey. Oh, very well. And I'm looking for a place that... I can hold it for you. <laughs> Why are you... Thanks, yeah, that's gonna be way less clumsy. <laughs> nope, you're shoving it up my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just do this. I, I don't Sorry, know. you were saying something very serious. I don't know if this place I'm looking for is a true place of faith, but it is called the House of Many Faiths. That's what it's called, right? It is. Yeah. Um, are you here alone? No. Father, who are you traveling with? I'm traveling with men from both the agency and... Uh, Rangers. And the Rangers, wow, brain. <laughs> the agency and the Rangers. I see. We are here for all of mankind. That's strange company that you keep. Well, I take the company that God puts around me. Well, if the Rangers and the agents are working together, then I see no harm in letting you know that the House of Faith is outside of town to the north, just over the hill. You shouldn't be able to miss it, although I feel that you may be too late. Uh, a few days back, a, a whole uh, group of rangers rode out east from there. And I don't know how much aid you'll find in that place, but that is where the, the house is located. Well, if God willing, we make it there in time, then we can provide the aid that I'm sure they desperately need by now. And if we are too late, well, maybe we can provide some solace to their families. Well, I hope that to be the case. Go with God, Father. Thank you, my son. All right. His face flew off. So you found the information that you needed, and you all reconvene. Uh, the three of you, quite frustrated. Clint, uh, a little bit in his cups. It seems like he wasn't able to get as much information as maybe he was trying to get. Uh, seems like he might have found more whiskey than he did leads. Uh, and all of you are feeling a bit... A bit down, especially after all you've been through, but uh, the Padre seems uh, rather serene. What's, what's got, what's on your mind there, Padre? Nothing, I just was, you Clint, know, I had something Clint, to drink, uh, I had Clint, a couple drinks. Not Clint, Padre. Clint, not, not you. It's all right. Although, don't drink too much. <laughs> that's that's you, a sin. Absolutely, Padre. It I is? would never, as a man who knows my limits, I would never dream I have, of it. I found some information about the House of Many Faiths. Hey, 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 shush, shush, shush. The Padre found some information about the house in his face. Take a cigarette out of your mouth. Apparently, 
five or uh, a couple days ago, a group of rangers rode out there. It's north of town, just outside of town. Oh. We may already be too late, but but we have to go if there's even a chance of helping them. Right. Let's go. Let's ride. Let's yeah, go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should go, Padre. That's nope. what I think we should do. Then we are all in agreement. All right, yeah. Yeah, I made that decision. Yeah, yeah, you sure did. And so I don't you... even have a badge. No, yeah, I should give you one. Yeah, I think so. Too badge late for, for what? Dumbasses. We Yeah, too... Hold on. Too late for what, Padre? The... I'll ask him. I, I already <laughs> did, but I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing that for me, as I obviously cannot. Hey, the Padre's trying to talk. <laughs> The specifics were unclear, but it seems to be a place that is quite dangerous. So you told them that the rangers had ridden out away from the house. They left the house. Oh, I misunderstood. Yes, that. so the rangers left. Uh, oh, okay. A whole group of rangers left the house. So uh, you know that Clay was talking about finding reinforcements and aid there, but it seems like those rangers may be gone. Yes, then I, then I express that. Ooh, that don't seem good. Seems like we could have used some of them rangers. Right, aces. Yeah. Rangers are pretty good in a fight sometimes, right? One of them is supposed to be the best. One of them, yeah, but yeah. he's dead now. Yeah. Hey, Does that mean on. you're the best now by the flop? Hey, I don't know if I'm the best, but don't talk about him like that. No, right? I mean, we yeah, only need... Just, come on, don't talk about him like that. You only need one shut ranger. Shut goddamn mouth. Uh, sorry, it's been a while since I had a drink. Well, shut up. Oh. Damn, all right, we gotta, we gotta get over there and see if they left a clue about where they went. Yes, let's, let's do that. All right. All right. So you follow the directions that the uh, the kindly parish goer uh, gave the father and mm. head out to the house of faith. Yeah. Um, it is a a a, a large structure. Uh, it, it looks very utilitarian in its design. It looks like it is designed to hold uh, and house many people all at once. And there is uh, some sort of of a, a sheen of house of holiness that has been placed over it that you get the impression is more of just sort of a, a facade. Um, but there is a, a cross hung over the door and uh, various accoutrements like that to make it seem like it might be a house of worship, which you know it is not. H have we also rested and gone through stuff to have PowerPoints? All yes, absolutely. Time? It's been several days. Yeah. So you guys are, okay, are all healed back up. Oh, good. All my PowerPoints are back. Um, you do not see <laughs> any smoke coming out of the chimney. Okay. Uh, nor do you see any sign of activity around the house. In, place, in fact, the whole place seems shuttered and dark. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's, let's go in. Yeah, let's, well, let's search it. I mean, do we want to just walk in when we've heard that there's something? I mean, should we be a bit more cautious? I mean, a bunch of rangers came out of this place. I mean, what could be in there? And give me a common knowledge again with All a plus two. All right. Nope, my common knowledge ain't that good. I got a six. Six. And the place is warded. That was the whole point of All building right. the House of Many Faiths. It was, it was built with, with and then warded to hold off the supernatural. So was if was any, it warded by the rangers? It was warded by people working with the rangers. Gotcha, okay. Uh, or maybe unwillingly at gunpoint for the rangers. I mean, that still wow. counts. More that likely. Counts. Yeah, they, they still cooperated counts. with us. They did cooperate. Because uh, nice. they if, had to. If you're uh, all afraid to go in, I'll go in myself. No, we ain't afraid. No, it's, it's warded, all right? Nothing bad can get in. It should be fine. Let's go. Nothing bad of a supernatural kind can get in. Yeah, you might want to hang back here. No, compadre. I should be... Fine. Your badge will probably grant you uh, access. Your 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 appointment as a Texas Ranger probably outweighs the uh, the evil influence of your your hitchhiker in your head. I think my brain's saying a lot of probabilities, but Let's, I think I'm good. <laughs> Let us pray that these wards still work as well as they once did. Amen to that. The powers that the Almighty grants His servants here on Earth are not what they once were. Well, I think these were recently. Updated from what I've heard, so. You got a new Bible? What are you talking about? Well, their limits may just not be the strength that they once did. Ah. There are losses and victories in every battle. Well, I'm the most not holy of us, so I'll walk in first, see what happens. You're also the only ranger, so that also makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. So I will walk in with my hand on my gun and just see what, just walk past the threshold. Okay, so you go up to the closed barred door and try to walk through it, but obviously because it's a door that's closed and uh, barred, you ghost. meet a little bit of resistance. Not yet, you're not a ghost. I'm always a ghost, unless I say I'm not. You're Is always a ghost unless ghost? you say you're not? Yeah. That seems like a problematic state of things Fine, to decide I'm on. Fine, I walk into this door. 
Okay, I will. Uh, so the door doesn't open. The door does not open. The door okay. appears to be User locked. I need to say that you were a ghost this whole time. I was a ghost the whole time. Uh, all right, uh, door's Please. barred, but that's probably a normal procedure. Let me just go inside and I will open it from the other side. All right? So I ghost. All right, give me a spirit roll. All right, this isn't free. In more ways than one, he doesn't come back. <laughs> I rest in peace. He never texts us again. <laughs> I ace on a D10! Pretty good! What is it yeah, with these aces? you turn into a ghost real quick mm. and well. Like, really good. And you're going you're through like, the door wow. or you're going through a wall? Just the door. So Alright, so you go through the door and you almost bump directly into what looks like a nun who oh. is coming to the door oh, to see oh. what all the fuss is and she sees you just floating through. Oh my goodness! Oh, 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 oh God! No, oh, oh, sound the alarm! No, 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 Spirits! No, 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 Spirits have made it through the alarm! I got a badge, 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 I'm a ranger, I'm a ranger, I'm a ranger, I'm a ranger, I'm a ranger. Give me persuade. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, terrible at persuade. Uh, does the badge give me a bonus? Uh, yeah, you're in Texas, and most people rep uh, recognize the authority of rangers in Texas. Okay. Uh, and if, oh, this persuade is the, plus two. This is essentially the Texas ranger thing anyways, because they respect the badge. Yes. Uh, a double ace. Okay, so yeah. pretty good. Uh, another ace. Sweet. Uh, like a million. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. I'm, I'm so sorry, you, man. You startled me. The, I, I the door was barred. We thought everybody was gone. I just need to know where the rest of the rangers are gone. I'm so sorry. Huh, there's more of you? Well, uh, yeah, I got a posse um, outside. I, ju I could just you, a couple. Could you not? Yeah, I'll, uh, be... I'll, yeah, I'll un ghost. Okay, so you, so you re solidify. Ah! Clay. Clay. Um, is that, are those your friends? Yeah, they're, they're friendly. They're good ones. One's a, okay. one's a just, preacher. If you could, just wait yeah, right here. I'm, I'm so sorry. Could I, could I see your badge? Oh, yeah, yeah, you can see my badge. Ranger, Ranger Clay. Yeah, oh, I'm oh, so sorry. I've, I've heard, I've, I've heard, okay, all right. Um, one sorry. moment, one moment. <laughs> yeah. She goes over and lifts, lifts the bar and, and opens the door. Um, you're friends with, with the, the ghostly ranger here. Yes. Uh, howdy, ma'am. Um, then, then, then come inside with my, with my blessing. And you, you come in. This is just a, kind of like a, a, a small sort of, sort of meek looking woman. You can't tell much about her since uh, she's entirely covered in a, in a row, uh, in a rogue's habit. A nun's <laughs> habit. Oh, <laughs> slip of the tongue. Um, Ready, it's sneak attacked. <laughs> uh, welcome, welcome to the house of faith. How, how, how may we assist? Uh, or I, I guess it's just me. Why is it just you? Is that normal? Uh, well, no, it's it's not normal. But the 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 whole posse of rangers that were holed up here, uh, headed out east a, a few days back in search of something or another. I, I don't know. I'm just a caretaker. She looks Catholic to me. I mean, she is a nun. Yeah. So that <laughs> seems so Catholic. Are there, Pretty Catholic. Are there other Protestant. kinds of nuns? What? Are there Protestant. other kinds of nuns? I'm seriously asking. Yeah. I don't know. Do you want to give me a notice roll? Sure. Just yes. to see how Catholic she looks. Yeah, and also to see if she's legit. <laughs> okay, yeah. On a level from one um, to Jesus. How Catholic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got a five. A five? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, yeah. You look her up and down. She looks pretty nunny. <laughs> <laughs> but for just a moment, you see what looks like a little bit of movement underneath her habit around the shoulder. Uh, like something sort of undulates for a moment. Um, so I, I guess it's just me left here. Um, so I don't know how much aid sister. I can provide. My sister, what order are you from? Uh, well, I'm, I'm no particular order, Father. I am, uh, I've given my, my, my fealty to, to God and to the, the rangers. I've abdicated any, any official uh, placement in, in an order in order to serve the greater good. Does this sound suspicious? There at are all? there are holy people who have done that. Uh, sure. Especially in light of all of the recent events with the Cackler's emergence. Okay, all makes sense to me. Um, Still a little I, I'm gonna keep an eye on her. Oh you see it happen again. Right, right underneath her, her shoulder uh, again. And in fact uh, let me get a notice roll from everyone else. Is it a cool pet? <laughs> Give me a notice roll. <laughs> stop ruining things with your guesses. I'm sorry. Uh, Ooh, aced it. I got a four. Oh, wait, four? This is vision. I got a four. This is vision. Four. 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 Nine. Nine. Okay. Um, you you all see that undulation again, and you hear the very faintest hiss. Oh, that's not where I thought this would go. Suspicion, I know, is somewhat unbecoming, but what is that that, un that 
you have on your shoulder. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, that must be so startled. Um, this is just, this is Aloysius. And she kind of reaches underneath the, the shoulder of her habit and pulls out uh, a, a little bit of scaly snake flesh and keeps pulling at it until she has the head of what looks like a, a fairly sizable snake just flicking its tongue at the air. He's, he's, a, he's such a, a little uh, uh, mama's boy, as it were. He, he doesn't like to be far from my side. Oh, uh, that's okay, Aloysius. These are just visitors. Hello. Oh. A little weird to have a snake considering the old Bible thing about snakes, right? Not much weirder than being a Texas Ranger who can turn into a ghost. Well, that's true. I should have got you there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I assure you, he's, he's harmless. He just likes to stay warm. I'm sorry if he uh, discomforts you. Oh, no. Uh, uh, you must get lonely out here by yourself. Uh, uh, yes, quite. I've seen plenty of snakes on women's shoulders. None, none of God's animals are inherently evil. The devil just took the form of a snake, and God punished snakes by making them slither in the dirt. They've been punished. Quite so, Father. Um, you can it, like them now. <laughs> God, <laughs> we're allowed to like snakes now. It's cool. Everybody, it's okay. What, um, what, what, what aid were you hoping to find here? Well, th the rest of the rangers, hopefully. Oh, well, I fear that you're too late for that, but maybe there's something that I can do for you? Uh, if you could just point me in the direction where they went and know where they went and tell us where to go. Uh, as I said, they, they struck out east several days ago looking for something. I, I'm merely a caretaker, not a... Uh, a person who is privy to the inner workings of the Rangers All right. organization. All right. Where's that map? Where's that map? What's east of here? Uh, well, you look a bit tired and 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 uh, dusty. Perhaps you could use um, some some food, uh, uh, some water with which to clean your faces. No, no, no we're perhaps... good. I'm not tired or dusty. We're good. We can keep going. Uh, well, perhaps the rest of you. Oh. Uh, I mean, I I what wouldn't mind. Is it right? What day of the week? Thursday. Ooh. Well, I got a couple days before I have to rest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to give you a fake chip for that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you really want to do? Uh, do you guys, what do you, you guys want to do? Just, just uh, look at a map right away, or uh, it has well, been quite a while that you've been traveling. Right. Do we yeah. think we should try and get a bit more information before we head off into who knows what? Right. Yes. No, I sometimes forget that other people need to sleep and eat, and I, I, I respect that. I'm sorry. My apologies. Yes, we would, if you have room, Four, four weary travelers. Five, sorry, Clint's also here, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Just right now, I don't feel like putting on my hat. Right. There's a lady present, so I done doffed it. No, yeah, that's a good, a good on you. So, uh, five. Clint looks strange in that habit. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> and there was one by the door, and it looked comfortable. <laughs> Where'd your cigarette go? I got it right here. <laughs> Just like Sister, you don't mind, do you? This is a little bit of a, more of a, I mean, no disrespect. Um, <laughs> just like an angry mom from the 30s. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys are going to take a rest? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay, so she, she leads you into a, into a, a, a small washroom where there's uh, some basins of water for you to kind of splash the, the road dust off of you. You all pass by what looks like a very solid uh, reinforced oaken door with heavy chains and a padlock across it as you, as you go. What, um, what is beyond that door? Oh, um, I, I believe that's the armory or something. I, I, I don't know. It's always the... padlocked that much. It, well, not when it's open. Of course, but oh, when it's closed. God. Yes, yes, the, the rangers are very protective of their, uh, you know, their secrets. Just making mm. sure you haven't come upon any sort of infestations lately. No. Should we have? No. Uh, uh, the ward's still up, right? Like, we're still protected in this. And of course, yes. Everyone is protected I here. I was in pretty this sure home. the agency's location was also quite protected. I guess that was coming from the inside, though. I don't know much about that. All I can do is offer you some, some food and some rest. I'm sorry, sister, did you say your name? Francis. Sister oh, Francis. Sister Francis. I'm yes. sorry. Sergeant Elijah Clay. Well, yeah, I saw. Uh, uh, just introducing myself. Uh, this is a. Uh, Aces Radcliffe. A and pleasure to meet you. Uh, Valeria Batten. Hello, miss. Yeah. Ernesto de Diaz. Yes, and uh, 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 a man of the cloth, I see. Welcome. You, you are all most welcome. Uh, just, shall I pre prepare a, a, a brief respite? Uh, some food? Yeah. Yes? Well, I suppose that'd be nice. All right, well, uh, just, just one moment. If you would just take a seat here at the table, feel free to make yourselves at home, and I'll, I'll return with some food. Whew. And she kind of bustles off down into the house. So, anyone know what's east of here? Well, that's what I wanted that map for. 
All right, so you pull the map back out. Mm -hmm. uh, give me survival roll, Clay. Yeah. Let's see what's on this. And don't forget, you still have, I think you have a re-roll. I do, I've got, I've got a re-roll. you have? Nope. You used it? I, I used it. Okay. Yeah. Do I get a plus of any sort or a minus of any nope. sort? Okay, then I got a re-roll because I got right. a three. It was garbage. I got an ace. I got an ace. Pretty good. Ace. Wow. Uh, ah, math. 23. Yeah, Why don't you just take that right back because that's, that's okay, uh, cool. one hell of a roll there. So what? Hey, the same exact chip. <laughs> um, so you take a look at the map. It, it's it's east is such a generic direction for them to have traveled. It could be any number of things. They could be heading out into East Texas. They could be riding out to try and uh, meet a rail line in order to travel up north or okay. in, anywhere. It's it's really difficult to know without more information okay. what specifically a whole posse of rangers might have ridden out from the house for. But if I was a ranger, which I am, yes. what would be the most beneficial to the ranger's location with a 23? Uh, well, I would say that it makes the most sense that they were called into action for something. So it oh. may be they received some missive about oh, uh, okay. them being needed somewhere out east. Okay. Um, so it's impossible really to know without that information what okay. they were called for. And we were Fair. sent here, remind me from... Andrew Lane. Right, he's, he sent us here Yes. to find them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, are, so you are you all just sitting there? You're looking at the map. Yeah. Uh, what's map. Any, what's everyone else wait. doing while you wait for Sister Francis to return with your food? Is it uh, is it normal here for uh, just one person to be like doing the whole thing? God damn it, Aces! You why you gotta be complaining? We got a nice old nun here to give us some food, and we can sit on a nice comfortable chair. I ain't one to look a gift horse in the mouth like that. Well. I think even though it seems she seems trustworthy, um, uh, Padre Ernesto de Diaz, I just had like a weird stuttery moment. That's your for name. A moment. Uh, mm -hmm. It still feels a little strange uh, okay. about the whole thing. So he's gonna just kind of walk around and um, just kind of search for anything that seems off about. Uh, any, because uh, there's there's got to be some religious items and stuff around. Sure. If, if she is, you know, a Catholic nun, then some of that those items should be around. Stands to reason. Uh, yeah, and even though it's like I I don't distrust snakes inherently, it still seems like a strange thing. That I believe feels a little... by your own admission, God says snakes are cool. Totally. Now. Yeah. <laughs> it's totally but cool. It's still a weird thing to present as a Catholic. Give uh, me a notice roll. Nun. Uh, I got a five. A five. Okay, mm -hmm. so you just kind of start walking around uh, some of the rooms downstairs near the kitchen while they're pouring over the map and talking about where the rangers might have gone and why. And uh, you do see uh, some some various different things from it. looks like different cultures. You see some, some masks that you don't recognize that almost put you in mind of like something Aztec or, or Mayan even that you might have uh, encountered further down south. Uh, hanging on the wall. You do see uh, the odd cross or some some iconography from other faiths as well. Which, you know, is a commandment, so don't do that. But Well, but this is the house of many faiths. Yeah, all right, fine. Twilight Protocol is in effect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think that supersedes a commandment. I'm not entirely sure. Um, and then you... I'm going to need to see a commandment on that. You do see there are a few symbols painted on the walls. Mm -hmm. um, but you notice a couple of them seem blemished in some way. Uh, it looks like whatever they were painted with uh, has been almost, it looks like, rubbed out. So the symbols don't look complete. In fact, as you keep circling these rooms, every one of those symbols that you come across looks like it has been in some way slightly defaced and interrupted in some way. So You, you don't know what these symbols mean, but, but that seems can wrong. I, so my... my Jordan Pridgeon's instincts, and I feel like they would be pretty fair to also be uh, Padre Ernesto de Diaz's instincts. Okay, so we don't have to go out of character? No. Okay. Are that, <laughs> if this is some sort of ward, if this is some kind of like protection that's been put on things, then it has been gotten rid of. Seems like it might have been tampered with a little bit, yeah. I want to go back up to everyone in the group. Okay. All right, no, listen, I ain't saying we shouldn't investigate it. I'm Everyone. just saying first we Everyone. should have a meal. Everyone. Yeah. 
well, Sister Frances is not here. I investigated a little bit, and I believe that the wards you spoke about here that protect us from evil have been undone in uh, this place. What makes you think that? Talking about I sure. found religious symbols along the wall from many different faiths. All right, I don't have much. I just have some crusty bread and a, a little bit of, uh, of butter. Um, and and I, I believe I, I have a, a handful of, of, of pecans that were, oh. were left behind. Uh, uh, the larder's been uh, a bit depleted of late, and I'm expecting some. Sister, here, let Sister me Francis. Um, yes, Father. I'm sorry to be such a, to pry so much, but I, I have a fascination for religions of all sorts. Of course. The symbols that are written on the walls down there, I, I couldn't help but notice some of them. What is it that they do? Why, why, have you, why are they all here? Hmm. This is the house of many faiths. Is it simply a, a monument to these beliefs? Well, I can't say as I know. As I said, the rangers keep uh, their secrets to themselves. I'm merely a humble caretaker, so it's, it's hard to say. I assumed that they were part of some sort of uh, glyph or, or arcane symbol that I am not privy to. Uh, so who was the ranger in charge while you were, uh, while they were still here? Oh, you know, they come and go quite quickly. It's hard to tell who's in charge when. I just tend I mean, to you, listen to all of them. They are, you know, the Texas Rangers. They're, if you were listening, you would have gotten a name or two at least. <coughs> Could I? Uh, ranger Jackson, I believe. Uh, ranger Smith. Uh, I believe there was a Ranger Johnson who was in charge at one point. Could I try to use Hunch on there? Hunch? Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you want, you can just ask me for this, well, and I'll just hand it over to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you want to cast Hunch? Yeah. Yeah. What's the spell? Yes. Gives you a hunchback? Yeah. Yes. It gives her a hunchback, yes. It yes. is not a useful spell. And if she's a demon, she has to make fun <laughs> of it. You're like, ha, gotcha. I don't know why they made a spell that just makes you a hunchback. But I love it. Because <laughs> demons hate hunchbacks. <laughs> yeah, I want to try to, like, conceal it. Sort of, I don't know, from her mostly, not from anyone else. Okay, all right, so you want to try and cast this on the down low. I, well, from her, yes. Okay, so you want to try and cast this on the down from low. From one person. So uh, I'm going to have... We don't care. I'm going to have <laughs> yeah. you make this roll at a minus two, Valeria. Uh, okay. Um. So give me a spell casting roll. That is a three. Hmm. Could just add a d6 Do to it. it. What's the worst that could happen? Do yeah. It. Is the worst that could. You're going to spend a red fate chip to add a d6 yeah. to it? All right, I'll go ahead and draw another chip you have here a then. Blue. No, but. But. Really? Really? You can't that's take it with you. That's a four. <laughs> you added a one, so that is enough for a success. Mm. Is that and. What you wanted? What's up? Is that what you wanted? I think she wanted a raise. Uh, um, so you manage under the table. You fan out your spectral hand of, of cards, mm -hmm. and you just kind of steal a glance down at them in your lap, uh, pretending to be demure or maybe be interested in the food at the table. And uh, what information are you trying to glean? I'm trying to figure out her background. I'm trying to figure out if she is who she says she is. You just start to get this sort of tugging sensation in your head and this indication that this person you're looking at in front of you might be more than one thing. Or perhaps I think there was a Ranger Samuels. What does that mean? Like, what, That's, to me, uh, right, but how many things that I know of can be more than one thing? It's not necessarily as clear cut as that. You just okay. get the impression that what she appears to be and what she might actually be are two separate things. A sister, is there Ranger anyone else Johnson, here? I said that already. Well, just me and Aloysius. And? N no one? Anyone else here? And you go up and poke her in the head? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, as you go up and just poke her in the head, you just see her body tense, and you see her hand just kind of flip up like she's going to just knock your hand aside, and then she lowers it down. <laughs> I don't understand your meaning. Well, Batten, what are you getting at? I think there might be some kind of writer or something else that uh, is here with the sister. What? Just a hunch. She doesn't attitude. smell bad or look particularly pale or anything. She does not. She looks like a kindly old nun. Uh, and she is, at this point, she just kind of just backs away from you. I'm not sure what exactly you're implying. And she takes a look out the window at the setting sun. Um, but I, 
I, I, I, I feel like you might be confused. I want to look out the window. Is there anything in that direction she might be looking for? Uh, no. I mean, you look out the window and you just see the sun kind of setting down below the horizon. Um, I'm going to draw my guns and I'm going to put I... them at her and... Hey, and... Now, Ace, let's not doing? jump to violence. What are you doing? Ace? I Come don't on. understand. What, 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 Sister, have I offended in Sister some way? Francis. Sister Francis. <laughs> yes. In my searching, I found that the religious symbols on the walls had been defiled. Defiled? Now, there's no one else here. Who is it who did that? Well, I, I can't say, oh, screw this, this is taking too long. And she, uh, all of a sudden, her face changes, and the, the, the uh, image of the kindly nun just drops away and is replaced by what looks like a very strikingly beautiful woman, or at least she would be if she didn't look like death and her face wasn't covered in uh, clown-like face paint that had <laughs> melted down her face. Uh, anyone who is from Gomorrah, so Batten, you recognize this person, so does Clint uh, right away. Uh, this is Avi Klein, one of Holly's uh, top performers and a very, very accomplished huckster. And as she says that, a, a sickly purple hand of cards just appears in her hand and she backs into the shadows of the door and winks out into the outside. Oh, right. She is not one we want to trifle with. God Stay damn it, that's Clan. That fucking Clan. What is Clan doing here? I thought this place was supposed to be warded. Uh, We're not safe here. We are not safe here at all. As you say that, you hear a distant <laughs> from outside, the, the bane of what sounds like a very large wolf. And you hear a light, airy giggle from outside as well. <laughs> well, that'll be Adler's uh, reinforcements for me. Come along. I, I do invite you to stay inside if you'd like, but as you already noticed, the wards are gone. So once uh, my lupine friend arrives, it will just be a short time before you'll meet your demise. But what do I know? I'm just a performer. All right, we gotta get to the horses. And I don't even know if the, the rangers went east, but we gotta get but, out of here. But th th there must be something valuable here if they've left her watching it. What about what was in that door? The armory, yeah. All right, uh, How do we you, gotta find a... Can you get through it? Oh, right, yeah. I mean, yeah, I can try. So you guys are rushing over to the armory door? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, so you, you all run out of the kitchen and over to the armory door, and you just hear uh, this, this airy laughter coming from all around the outside of the house. It's almost like she's dancing around from window to window and just taunting you. Uh, so you run back out into the, into the main room in front of the, the locked and pad and chained door. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you gonna try and do? I'm gonna try and ghost through it. Give me a spirit roll. Okie dokie. Uh, I'm actually better at spirit than mm -hmm. I thought. Be a good one, be a good one, be a good one. Oh no, I failed. Here's a, here's a fake shit. All right. Because I didn't do great. Rerolling? God. Oh, I aced it. Keep it on the table. Oh, I double aced it. I'm not going to continue rolling though, because I succeeded. Okay, all right. So you immediately go incorporeal and you rush forward towards yeah. the door. Yeah. And as you do, um, and, intending to just run through it and see what's on the other side, you rebound back. Oh. Like you just ran into a solid wall. All right. And you're pressing out against the door and it will not yield to your incorporeal form. It, it's just as solid now when you're ghosted as it was when you weren't. All right, there might be an actual ward on this one. Do you think the Rangers actually headed out to the east? No, I don't know, but someone's got to be in here that could help us. Everyone give me a notice roll. Five. Five is... Eight. Is this vision? Twelve. No, this is uh, not vision. Nine. Twelve. Nine. Ooh. Okay, nice job, everybody. Uh, we did uh, it. You all hear what sounds like this sort of like muffled, giggling conversation from outside, and then you hear the creaking of something very, very heavy stepping onto the front porch, just on the other side of the door, and you hear the raking of something very sharp just going down the door slowly from the outside. Uh, it looks like my company has arrived, if you'd care to open up and let him in. Can I put my hand on his shoulder and cast quickness? Yeah, I'll allow that for sure. Give me a spell cast. But I'm a ghost. Oh, he's right. a ghost right then now. Whoever isn't a ghost, I guess I would do his. Aces whoever... is right nearby. Yeah, yeah. Aces. Quickness. All right, once again, uh, I see we ain't got anything for Clint. That's fine. I'll just take care of myself. <laughs> oh, Clint, you're still here. Yeah, I've always been here, Aces. 
Uh, Look at the five. horses. <laughs> five? Mm hmm All right, so that is a success. So mm -hmm. are you upping it in order to give him the benefit of getting to take two actions? Yes. Okay. Suspend the extra points for that. And you feel uh, a surge of just speed blast through your body, Aces. You feel uh, the certainty that you can fire and move and do any number of things way quicker than you ordinarily could. Which is good, because at that moment, the door comes splintering inward, showers of wood just blowing in as this large, hulking, hairy form just ducks under the door frame and moves inside, its slavering jaws just dripping bloody saliva. This is a large, large, wolfish-looking figure. And you all don't need to roll a cult to know what this is. Every one of you has come in contact with a werewolf before. And we are in a combat. Okay. All right, Padre. Queen. Queen, you get two. worst I of take two. The lowest. So you get a four there, Valeria. Which also gives me my best of three. Best of three. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Garbage. Garbage. I guess nine, nine of hearts. Hearts is the best grade. That yeah. is. Thank you. Five or less. There you are. Oh. A two of hearts, and for the werewolf, an eight of clubs. Okay. I'm going to exchange. You're going to exchange. Oh, All right. Would you nice. like that or this four of hearts? <laughs> whoa, whoa. And yeah, it is a four. slight improvement. You have doubled your initiative. Yeah. All right. Um, so I'm so fast. Again. <laughs> You guys don't need to make a guts roll for this, even though it is very imposing, because you've all run across these creatures Wait, before. But you also would all know that the only thing that is going to be able to deal any damage to this creature whatsoever is a silver the weapon. The only thing? The only thing. Not even thing. magic? Not even magic. You might be able to throw it off its game for a little bit, but you're definitely not going to be able to do any damage to so it. So I, I wouldn't feel like bothering with doing a mass smite kind of thing. Again. Probably not. Great. You're, you're, all, you're all very well acquainted with the supernatural enough to know this thing. I mean, I'd assume that the rangers have that in the armory, but... Oh, that does sound like something that would be in the armory. Yeah. Oh, no! It looks like he's hungry! I hope you all ate! Ugh. Shut up, you witch. All right, so up first. <laughs> That's going to be Padre. Uh, you know what? Since I can't, since the mass smite isn't going to work, uh, I'm going to throw protection on everybody. Protection on everyone? Ooh. Yeah. Even Clint? Yes, even Clint. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to check. So that's five of us, right? Uh, that is five. But that's not including, yeah, five not including me. Oh, you don't want to do it on yourself? No, I, I'm just counting. I'm just, no, that, it's four in, not including you. But it's five. Including. It's one, two, Yes, okay, great. There are five, five targets five for protection. Total. Great, so it'll cost me four power points. Okay, so give me a faith roll. Uh, great, because I have conviction, which lowers it. Oh, nice. Um, conviction of you. Uh, aced on the 12 and the 6. Wow. Okay. So I, I think it's just a, uh, it's, it's honestly almost a reflex. That okay. when something like that happens, he grabs his thing and just, uh, he grabs the uh, cross and just surges the uh, holy power around to everyone else. Okay. Uh, but that's both ones, so it's just 13. <gasps> All right. Still really good. That's got yeah, plus four protection was, on everybody. two ones wow. after double aces, so uh, and not you've got a crit quickness. Uh, I'm sorry, guys, in the interest of time, we're going to have to change this into a quick encounter as well. Great. So uh, I'm going sense. to I'm gonna have that just be the reflexive thing you do right mm -hmm. before. So uh, now I will let you take your any other action if you want. So basically, Clay just all but said silver bullets would be in the armory. Mm -hmm. And this thing is out here in the, in the hallway, and it looks like it means to tear all of you to shreds. So at any point, uh, or actually, we can just go in initiative order if you'd like. All right, I will cool. let you. I will let you guys decide what you want to do. Well, can, okay. can that be the thing I do, or is yeah, that... that can be it. That can be it. Okay, great. All yeah. right, so hand in the card there. I think that makes sense as my. Everybody is protected as the thing comes lunging towards Clint. Oh God damn it! What did I do to deserve this? <laughs> uh, and it slashes out at him, but luckily. Your divine protection just sends those claws raking aside without even breaking his skin. And he looks, he looks over at you and says, if we live through this, I'm following you to church on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who wants to go next? I oh. want to shoot the lock. You want to try and shoot the lock? Yeah. All right. Um, I, am, I am cool with that. Okay. Uh, you've got your Gatling pistols. Mm -hmm. Are you going to just unload dual wielding on the lock? Yeah. Okay. All right. It seems like they might be warded, but uh, I don't know if they're warded against a whole lot of rapid bullet fire. Okay, here's one gun. Uh, it's an, an ace. <laughs> Here, use this. Use this instead. It's, it's, it's a one. Run. It's okay. Don't it's worry about it. It's a one. Okay, that yeah. was a seven. Uh, Thank you. So, You're too kind. seven and nine. A seven and a nine? Yep. Yeah, those are both going to hit. One's with a raise. Um, so, uh, I'm going to say, you know what, just give me, uh, give me 3d6 plus one. 
And let's just see how much damage you can do to this lock. Not much. Uh, five, uh, so nine, ten. Yeah, I do. You can. Ten. Look at some aces in there, aces. Yeah. Wow. You didn't do it. No. You I want didn't. to re-roll that, that damage? That was even you worse. You got one fate ship left. <laughs> He's really... No, I'm, What's I'm, the worst that could happen? I'm going to fire my other gun. But okay, I got, I got uh, ten. You got too. I got ten on that, yeah. Okay. Um, so that was ten damage. All right, one. so you, you, you unload on this lock, and it does seem to be supernaturally resistant to damage. Okay. But even so, you were firing uh, right up close with, uh, with your Gatling pistol, just unloading on it. Okay. And it does seem like you are starting to impact Straight. the lock in, in a way. Okay, just because of quickness and because we're doing a quick encounter, I'll just fire one more time. You got it. Up to the four times I could have done this. Uh, ooh. Oh, no, bar. I'll let you re-roll that because you have quickness. Okay, Sweet. cool. Thank you. We'll keep that going. Uh, six. Uh, yeah, six. That's a hit. Is... Okay, great. Two D six. For a guy named Aces. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Where are those aces? <laughs> aces are only happening on notice and taunt. Yeah. Uh, seven, eight. Eight. Okay, I'm gonna say under the, because you can just fire so many times here, under, I, I, you just stand there and just empty all 24 of the bullets from your Gatling pistols into this thing, and eventually, <laughs> as, as the werewolf is growling and throws Clint aside into a bookshelf that collapses around him, the padlock falls off of the chain and the chains just swing uh, free, just hanging uselessly on the door. Great. All right. Who wants to go next? I want to try and stun the werewolf. All right, that sounds like a good move. Hell yes. Yes, but this what will be at a minus one since quickness is still active. Yes. Uh, four. Well, that's a success. Tis indeed. All right, so he has to make a vigor roll. Vigor, yes. All right. Here goes and nothing. He fails. He fails. He fails. He aced it. I mean, he no! aced it. No! That's the opposite of failing! He, he succeeds with a raise. <laughs> um, so you, your cards swing into your hand, and you stretch out your hand and just blast energy right at him. Um, however, you hear a giggle from outside, and a, and a bright ruby red card comes cartwheeling in through Ooh. the door and just intercepts your blast of purple energy Ooh. and dissipates it out. Oops! I never liked uh -oh. you. Uh-oh! I never liked you, Ivy Klein. Oh, well, Valeria, that's just because you're jealous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, that was a success, but not enough to actually do anything to the werewolf, but that does still count for the quick encounter. All right, the door is open, Clay. I'm gonna bust in there and find those silver bullets. I'm okay. sure they're in here, I'm So sure. you just shoulder through the door and yeah. blast it in, and you just walk, see walk, 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 shelves walk, 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 around you stocked with weapons, with stoppered vials, with all manner of things on the walls, yeah. and in the back corner, collecting a little bit of dust, you do see one box of what is just has been chalked on the side, silvered. Okay. It so looks like bullets. I'm gonna snatch those and uh, flip my revolver, just emptying all the bullets. Because you're and a speed just, loader, I'm is speed that right? Loading. Oh, nice. <laughs> and then I'm going to, I mean, if I can continue, I'll just go out there and I unload. Mean, you can speed load, so I don't think there's anything that would prevent you yes. from just turning around and opening fire on the creature out in the foyer. I would like to do that thing. Then do it, give me a shooting roll. Uh, six of them? Oh, you're, you're fanning the hammer? Why wouldn't I? Yeah, that's a fair point. <laughs> well, I could smite it if we get around to another. Uh, I, then you, I could just speed load and do it again. If True. you can fan the yeah. hammer like this, I doubt we're going to need to do that. All right, so go I'll ahead. Just, give me those, give me those just shooting rolls. I'll doing this. Uh, cool. Here we go. Here's the first one. Uh, it's a five. Okay, that's going to be a hit. What's the damage on a silver bullet? Is it the same? It's the same. Okay, cool. Uh, so that is a ten. Okay. You know what? You can, you can fan the hammer twice here? Yeah. Okay. In the interest of time, I'm going to say, because uh, I know your character sheet pretty well, yeah. Elijah Clay, I'm going to say that that wolf just yelps out as bits and pieces of its flesh are just ripped off of it, right as it was towering over Clint underneath the ruins of the bookshelf, who's just going, I should not even be here today. Uh, You're the still thing here? Is, the thing is driven back and just torn to shreds until it's barely more than uh, a, a, a muscle, a, a little bit of muscle material on a skeletal frame Ooh. just moving towards you, and your final bullet just blows a hole in its Ooh. chest, and the thing just gives off a little whimper and collapses to the ground, and you hear A.V. cursing from outside. God damn it! All right, all right, this may be a little bit of a sip setback, but I helped Curly Bill deal with the law and Tombstone, and I think that the four of you are gonna go the exact same way. And then you hear a little bit of a pop 
as she disappears from view, and Clint stands up from underneath the bookshelf and goes, God damn it, there are five of us. <laughs> Why does everyone keep forgetting about me? Yeah. Um, however, as you guys are just standing there trying to get your bearings, uh, Clint turns to Valeria. That was Avi. Yeah, it was. And you know just as well as I do, the fourth ring has ties in Arizona. Mm-hmm. What do you bet that's where she headed back to? Well, I don't, I've not seen her uh, often far from Howley, so All right. that would be my guess. Listen, I think we gotta make, we got to make tracks towards Arizona. She mentioned, she mentioned Tombstone. I think that's good of a place as any. Let's just get on our horses and ride hell for leather. Yeah, it makes sense. She wanted us to go east, but we've got to go west. All right, all right, let's yeah. do it. All right. Hop on. Let's do it. Um, so I'm going to wipe just a little bit here. Okay. Uh, to days later on the trail, uh, when you guys are heading off towards, towards Arizona, trying to ride as hard as you can and heading that way, uh, the sun is just beating down on you in your saddles. Um, and you see a, what looks like a little, a, a small little plateau up ahead, and there appears to be a, a figure in black, a tall gaunt figure wearing a black hat, and glinting red coming somewhere from its eyes, and it's just waving merrily at you as you ride up on the trail. Uh, all right. Well, that's not creepy. Yeah. Uh, are you, uh, <laughs> are you for the folks that are... I heard young Miss Klein said we're coming this way. I mean, there's five of us. I don't know why. You see as you get closer. <laughs> God damn, it's like I'm invisible. Oh, you're behind me, so maybe they didn't see. Uh, you, see you see as you get closer, uh, the figure is completely pale with a wide, stretched smile across his face, and he's wearing red, ruby red glasses underneath his black hat. Well, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, maybe you don't know what sort of trouble you're riding into, but... It seems that uh, I'm supposed to stand in your way. At least that's what Mother says would be best. Would I know who this is? Uh, you got a pretty good guess that right up here on this ridge is the cackler standing in your way. What? Um, but don't worry. I've prepared a little uh, gift for you. And around the other sides of this plateau come these huge, grotesque masses of screaming, writhing cor corpses all melded together, and as you look, you all recognize on each one of these faces of loved ones or people who have been important to you in the past. Some of them dead, some of them not dead oh. the last time you encountered them. I thought I would make it a little more fun and a little more personal. And as he says that, he raises his hands in the air and disappears in a bright purple flash of flame that looks very similar to the flame that was protecting the hanging judges as these four gigantic corpse abominations start thundering down towards all of you. You all hear, off in the distance, the sound of hooves. And you turn and see a cloud of cavalry riding your way. It looks like there are some people who are coming to your aid, but which group is coming to the aid of our intrepid posse? That is up to the players of Doomtown at this event to vote and see which faction from the Doomtown game will be coming to aid these heroes in their time of need. But that is also where we will end our session oh, today. Oh, man. So okay. thank you guys very much for playing. Thank all thank of you, you for okay. being here yeah, and watching. Thank you. thank you on Facebook for watching, thank and thank you. you in the future who are watching this recorded video. Uh, stay tuned, because the final chapter of the Twilight Protocol event series is going to be happening later this year in Tombstone, Arizona itself. Mm -hmm. So maybe we will see you then. Uh, big thank you again to ChupacabraCon for letting Yay! us do this. Thank you to Box and all the fine folks there for having us partner up to do this game with them. And everyone, I hope you all enjoy the rest of ChupacabraCon. We will see you guys soon. Bye. 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 Thank you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.